come and pass The innocent can never last Wake me up when September ends Lie my fathers come to pass Seven years has gone so fast Wake me up when September ends Here comes the rain again Falling from the stars Drenched in my pain again Becoming who we are Memory, memory rest But never forgets what I lost Wake me up when September ends Summer has come and passed The innocent can never last Wake me up when September ends Ring out the bells again Like we did when spring began Wake me up when September ends Here comes the rain again Falling from the stars Drenched in my pain again Becoming who we are But never forgets what I lost Wake me up when September ends Summer has come and passed The innocent can never last Wake me up when September ends Like my father's come to pass Twenty years has gone so fast Wake me up when September ends Wake me up When September ends Wake me up Oh the song sucked. <laughs>
already on on her Instagram or his Instagram now. And of course, they're going to do what they always do. Hit people up for money and things. So let me pull this up, show you guys. Here we go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rev. It's uh, the 27th of August, and that means it's Shani's birthday. So, um, all she she's so sweet. She said all she really wants today to have a good day is to have some cake and ice cream. You know, cake and ice cream would make her happy. So, well, guess what? News fucking flash. Shani, you're a fucking 40-year-old. What? Oh, she'd really like cake and ice cream. Are you fucking five? Wait, Jamie, you cash after $100? Are you serious right now? Or you cash after $100? So, oh, I was about to say, like, I'm like, are you wanting people to just drag you or something? Because if you say that around here, you're not going to get a, a, a very warm welcoming. Um, so now my mind just went, you, you threw me off, Jamie. You completely messed me up. <laughs> just kidding. But, um, anyway, yeah, it's, he's, oh, J you know, Shani would really like cake and ice cream. Well, I bet she would. That sounds like your responsibility, not ours. Aren't you her quote unquote husband? Why do you feel like it's our responsibility to get your fucking wife cake and ice cream? God. Oh, uh, I'm just making this video quick to anybody that would like to, if they could, um, if I'm, I'm in. I'm going to have it in the title of this video, the addresses for our, uh, we got a cash app. And Actually, what would be funny though, <laughs> Jamie, is if like, because I do believe that Shady and Rev watch my content from time to time. I think they watch all the reaction channels content. So it wouldn't surprise me if they were watching and like frantically checking their so I'm going to put them in the title of this video. So let's try and make it a good day for Shani. She needs it so bad, guys. You don't, you really don't have a clue how bad she needs this. She just wants some cake and ice cream for her birthday. So could some kind-hearted, really awesome person out there help us out and we can get her that? Um, she deserves it. She really does. She's gone through so much as a person. It's... It's insane. So uh, if you can find it in your heart, you got you got something to give. Please do because uh, let's let's make it a good day for Shani. Why don't you make it a good day for her? I like I don't understand this. Like you're coming to us like we are responsible for that, or that we somehow owe her um, that gratitude or that kind. No, you do. That's what you owe her. You're the spouse. So if she wants something and she's not getting it, that's on you. That is your fault. Not the people on the internet. God bless you guys. Fucking loser. All right, we're going to watch it one more time all the way through. I'm going to be quiet and I'll talk after it. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rev. It's uh, the 27th of August, and that means it's Shani's birthday. So, um, all she, she's so sweet. She said all she really wants today to have a good day is to have some cake and ice cream. She's so sweet. She All she wants is more of my dead mom's money. Can't you just give that you to know, her? Cake and ice cream would make her happy. So uh, I'm just making this video quick. By the way, yes, I do. I steal that joke from Omni. I can't help it. <laughs> I just love it when he says that, though. He's, she, he's way better at it than me. But he, uh, Mr. J, can you give me more of your dead mother's money? <laughs> to anybody that would like to, if they could, um, if I'm, I'm in. 
I'm going to have it in the title of this video, the addresses for our, uh, we got a cash app and we, I'll put the Venmo. Too. Good point, Karen. Good fucking point. Karen said, did her sons get cake and ice cream on their birthday? Did she even care? I will put money on that. Not only did they not get cake and ice cream, she didn't buy them that. She probably bought them nothing. Not a gift, not a card, not shit. And she also didn't visit them because the bitch can't be bothered enough to do fucking drug tests, to do parenting classes and whatever the fuck else that they were requiring. But we're supposed to care about her getting cake and ice cream. Get the fuck out of here. Too, because I have a Venmo account as well. So I'm going to put them in the title of this video. So let's try and make it a good day for Shani. She needs it so bad, guys. You don't, you really don't have a clue how bad she needs this. She just wants some cake and ice cream. For My God, you're acting like it's fucking crack. You don't understand what she's been through, guys. She really needs some cake and ice cream. Like, nobody needs cake and ice cream. Like, it is not that fucking serious. Um, <clears throat> Nick, uh, let's see. Yes, I can, uh, I'll, I'll drop the link, uh, for the Discord, but I, I want to make something clear before I do, um, thank you, TJ, for the super chat. You said it's my girlfriend's birthday, gonna get her a hundred dollar steak wait it's my girlfriend's birthday gonna get her a hundred dollar steak wait is that like <laughs> tj i don't know if that was supposed to be a joke or funny or serious or like it went over my head is what i'm saying so explain it to me what you meant because i'm assuming he didn't get oh are you just saying like in general this is what uh you know the kind of the same kind of logic or whatever right like oh well my wife really wants this or really wants that um so yeah oh you got it michael well i'll give him the i'll i'll give him the link um i'll drop it the only thing that i ask is if you anybody if you guys are interested what no you're really doing it wait a minute is it your girlfriend's birthday TJ, is your girlfriend's birthday the same day as Shani's? Did you say that? Because <clears throat> that would be crazy. Um, let's see. Let me grab this link real quick. I'm I'm so confused already, you guys. <laughs> I admit it. Okay, my brain is not working properly yet yes it is your girlfriend's birthday today too she, wow that's kind of crazy that she shares a birthday with shanny coincidence tj mm. <laughs> um that's awesome though that's see that's the kind of shit that a husband should do or a spouse or boyfriend or whatever you know if you want your your significant other to have a great birthday and and you want them to be spoiled so to say then you do what you need to do to make that happen i mean rev if she wanted this cake and ice cream so bad you couldn't take your ass to fucking the plasma fucking uh go donate blood or something like, you couldn't just go donate some blood one day and get enough to at least get her a cake and ice cream? No, you can't. That does, that kind of shit does not even fucking, uh, the thought does not even come in your mind. The only thing that you guys think is they owe us, these people owe us, you know, because uh, I don't know why. I've never really been able to figure out why they think that they are owed anything and the entitlement like I, I i can only assume that it was the way that the way that they were raised but yeah it's fucking ridiculous for her birthday so could some kind-hearted really awesome person out there help us out and we can get her that um she deserves it she really does she's gone through so much as a why does she deserve it <clears throat> Why? Why does she deserve anything? 
from us specifically. I mean, I I don't get that. If you think she deserves, you know, to be spoiled with cake and ice cream, then you need to make that happen. But, you know, the other thing that I just think is so fucking ridiculous, and it goes back to what I, I touched on a minute ago, but like, Shani, you're 40 years old. You have children of your own. I know you don't get to see them anymore, but you have them. After I had Jackson, my son, 17 years ago now, but <clears throat> it's like birthdays from that moment on didn't really mean that much anymore. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just another day. Like once you start having kids, their birthday is what you make a big deal about. You know what I mean? Maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I just kind of quit caring about shit like that. It's like birthdays are for for him and to spoil him same thing goes for christmas and shit like that like i don't need to get a bunch of presents or anything like that i don't need to get anything i just want my kid to be happy i want to spoil my kid so i guarantee you though that kind of like i don't even think she thinks about those kids anymore neither one of them do it's a person Fucking it's gross it's insane so uh if you can find it in your heart you got you got something to give uh oh hold please on please do i missed a super chat let me see is it a super chat or a super sticker um because those stickers slip past me oh i see eden thank you so much for the super chat uh you said she licked the icing off her son's cup for real for real yes I have, does anybody know if there, if that was ever like streamed and if it is, if it was, does anybody have it? Um, because I would love to see that. I've heard about that story, that it's true, but I've never actually seen it for myself. And I think that would be interesting. So if any of you know where to find that, hook me up. Oh, what's wrong? Buffering. Is my internet? causing problems or something because uh let's let's make it a good day for shanny god bless you guys wow hey guys what's up it's rev it's uh the 27th of august and that means it's shanny's birthday so um all she she's so sweet she said all she really wants today to have a good day is to have some cake and ice cream you know, cake and ice cream would make her happy. So uh, I'm just making this video quick to anybody that would like to, if they could, um, if I'm, I'm, I'm going to have it in the title of this video, the addresses for our, uh, we got a cash app and we, I'll put the Venmo too, because I have a Venmo account as well. So I'm going to put them in the title of this video. So let's try and make it a good day for Shani. She needs it so bad, guys. You don't, you really don't have a clue how bad she needs this. She just wants some cake and ice cream for her birthday. Wah. So could some kind-hearted, really awesome person out there help us out and we can get her that? Um, she deserves it. She really does. She's gone through so much as a person. It's it's insane so uh if you can find it in your heart you got you got something to give please do because uh let's let's make it a good day for shanny god bless you guys oh god they're pathetic. hey guys what's up they're fucking pathetic like it never ceases to blow my mind um so that's uh what what we have from those two so far um i have a feeling that we're going to be seeing more from them today um and so i'm not gonna um make this a really long stream but i figured i would get on here for longer than just a couple of minutes um so the other day i was trying to show a stream and my, i kept having internet issues so we're gonna pull that up and watch that one that we didn't get the chance to watch um the other day because I think, it, I think it's a pretty good one. If any of you haven't seen it. And Shani is <laughs> oh, ridiculous in it. 
and uh yeah here we go yeah isn't the marble cool on that i love that yeah so hey folks how you doing <clears throat> I don't have my phone with me, so I'm just doing this quick on my Alienware. Uh, Michael, what do you mean in ten, 10 minutes from last night? What does that mean? What are you talking about? But there's somebody out there that uh, I need to have. Oh, wait, there's another one? Well, let me let me go. Let me pull that up. Was it not? Was it on the Instagram? Because if you're talking about, uh, oh, they're live again. Hold on, Jesus, Lord in heaven, can't keep up. Wait, no, I don't think that they're live again. No, they're not live again, and I'm pretty sure I covered. The one that you're talking about last uh, yesterday, but let me uh, double check and see here. Um, the only thing I, I'm not seeing um, any other ones. The uh, I think the one that you're talking about is actually that's from last night. I covered that one already last night. Um, oh, you guys want to watch the first 10 minutes? Okay, we could do that. Is that what you guys want to do? I mean, it's not that interesting, but I will pull it up and we can do that. Here we go. <laughs> And the channel is Graveyard Flowers, and I just dropped the link in the chat for you. It's a great archive channel. If you haven't subscribed, definitely go do that. He Do said, it. I have a cute girl. Oh, he and has a cute birthday. girl. It, I mean, it's going to be very soon now. A cute girl, and it's her birthday. I didn't know it was Watermelon's birthday. I know you ain't talking about Shani. So, <laughs> being cute. That's my last day in my 30s. Not how I would describe her. Yeah, that's. I mean, 50's the big one, but 40's not small. No, it's a big birthday. It is a big birthday. You're officially old. Yeah, like, you could say middle age. Yeah, I agree, Mr. Unite for the chill win. But unfortunately, I, I'm, I'd i be willing to place bets that uh, they will get something from someone. Somebody will do it. If not to troll, you know, or, or like, it'll happen. I fully believe they'll, they'll get that. Uh, cake and ice cream. I wish they wouldn't. I think it would be hilarious. Shani would have a fucking meltdown like she did last year, but some people, uh, I don't know. Some people still support them or some people troll them by buying them things, which doesn't make a fucking lick of sense to me, but hey. Pretty what much. do I know? Yeah. Middle-aged. But, um, So there's, like, I don't know if this is being said uh, on reaction channels or whatever. That's got to be what it is. But, like, there's people saying that Shani never had a job in her life, and that's hilarious because the majority of the time that I knew her on YouTube, uh, the reason she couldn't do much was because that's all she was doing. Exactly, with Irv. Exactly. Exactly. Well, it's just like not long ago, um, that guy that bought them the pizza and I guess, you know, bought them pizza with the purpose of 
having him come on, Rev come on, and talk shit about me for a second and say some smart ass shit. Like, dude, that's pathetic. If, like, you really dislike me that much that you would fucking send them food and money and shit to try to, I don't know what, like, dude, that's not trolling. If anything, they're trolling you. <laughs> Because they're getting what they want. Working and, and, and providing for her family. So um, that should be said that that's just total BS. And anybody that knows her from back in that time would know that. I mean, like it's, it's she, she, it's yeah. really dumb. There's videos <sighs> on me working. Yeah, but they probably wouldn't use those, you know. <laughs> yeah, they, of course. They have to drum up a lie that's not even fucking true. Yeah, it's dumb. But, uh, the, I mean, seriously, people that, that knew her from the, those years know that that's ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. But yeah, that's something that's going on going on out there. But it's it's just because like you if you if you know Shanny from the last uh five years, you know her from when she was with me. And regardless, like I we had money, our own money, but the thing is, uh even if she wanted to work at that time that we had money, it would she wasn't capable of it. Her she, her health was going downhill for years and it got to a point where she just could no longer do the type of physical labor that she did in her life and that's what it was it was a physical labor oh bullshit um, bullshit you know, so yeah if you've known her within the last five years yeah <laughs> Before then, that was her entire existence, was working to keep a roof over her head and all that for when she was with Chris. I mean, that was her life. That was all she did. She wanted to do more YouTube stuff and, like, be in hangouts with people and stuff, but she just couldn't do it because, well, you guys know... Most of you guys have normal lives that are just like, you, you know, you go to a 9-to-5 job or whatever... And you don't have time barely to do any anything yourself, so you you would understand that. I wish they stopped bringing rumors on me, and then and then coming to me with these rumors like it's true, and like it it's it's just email after email of harassment. Yeah, you know, and it's. It's really stupid because it's based on a lie. And, you know, if you're getting your information about me from people on the internet, you're just dumb. <laughs> you're just dumb because these people don't know me and they're trying to drive a story so you can watch their content. Mm. Yeah. And I don't know why you can't figure that out. I don't know why you can't understand that the uh, the reaction channels, the people that watch them, they're, it's not shit that's made up. It's literally you, you streaming, you making videos, you talking in your own fucking words. So I, I, I don't know why, like how, why you're saying that or like trying to make it seem like that. That's clearly not what's going on. But coming yeah. to me with such hatred over something not true, I I just like you need to stop. Well, I mean that. Grow. Oh, did he? Did uh wait? Uh, G Man said he's gonna email Shanny about what? I wonder. Oh, he did another video. Maybe we'll pull that up in a minute. Up. That's even doubly dumb to to be like coming to you with that. Yeah. Doubly dumb. Like I would uh, the rumor mill BS and and the stories they make up like 
yeah, but to, they're going to do that no matter what forever. That's just obviously going to be the case because we were gone for the better part of a year. And, and one guy took his stuff down and then he just went back to write the same stuff right away. So yeah. this is never going to go away. That's obvious. And, and that's why it's like, uh, why have a channel? Why do anything? Because it's going to be sabotaged and destroyed anyway. Then but why yeah, are you if doing you're it? listening to uh, reaction channels and stuff, high bling and things 2021, uh, if you're listening to reaction channels for the narrative of what our actual life is like, then you're literally believing a comic book as opposed to a history book. Okay. We, <laughs> When we talk about our lives, you're getting actual, like, the history, like, actual things that are happening. No, because you guys lie too much. No one can fucking trust what you say. When you listen to reaction channels, you're, you're listening to a sensationalized, um, almost drawn, animated version of us that isn't real. So I, I, Bull. if you're going to listen to that stuff, it's your freedom that you can listen to that stuff, but don't come to us on our channels or DM us or email us about this stuff because it really does nothing but bring our mental state down. Right. Don't, don't message them or, or DM them about stuff like that. Only money, you know? That's what they want to hear from you. They don't want advice. They don't want tips on how to, you know, make their life better. They just want money. That's what you need to say. And if you're coming up at them with anything else, you're not going to get given the time of day. It, it brings our, it, it, it's, it's bringing us badness. So if, if you are like a kind and caring person that you are, you guys are out there and you help us from time to time and thank you, um, don't bring that stuff to us because it just doesn't, it's not good for anybody involved. I, I, well, it's good for reaction channels that you watch them and I, re, I, I would recommend you not watching them. And if you actually like us, I don't know why you would ever watch them and that's kind of a policy that i have personally i wouldn't speak for shanny but my i like if i know that you like to listen to somebody like carrie or or dragnaut or people like that i will not even talk to you oh shout out so that means all of you in the chat right now you better not say a word to rev he is not going to listen. You're evil, all of you. So I don't know why you would ever watch them. And that's kind of a policy that I have personally. I wouldn't speak for Shani, but my, I like if I know that you like to listen to somebody like Carrie or, or Dragnaut or people like that, I will not even talk to you. Like that's my policy at this point. If I know that you're into that, why the hell would you want to talk to me even? Because I'm demonized so bad on, on those types of play on those channels. You, I know why you're coming to me. If you watch those people, you want to get into my life and hurt me worse than, you know, you want to hurt me or you want to hurt Shannon or you want to hurt our family in some way. If you're watching those people, because it's, it's always, that's the case. People come to us and go, oh, I, I was a watcher of XYZ Reaction Channel. I want to I wanna say I'm sorry about that and blah, blah, blah. And inevitably, if it, it, it could be a month later, of and they've been talking to us on and off, nice, just sending us nice things, or even sending us money. Hey, Rev, happy early birthday, Shannon. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Uh, um, Lori, this, this is from last night. Mm -hmm. Gucci trolls. Yeah. So inevitably, like, for example, I'll bring up one name like Lisa. She was like very, she loved bomb the shit out of us and said, uh, I, I'll get you a job here in, in Massachusetts. You could come and stay with me. 
all of this stuff. She was like, I want to be your adoptive mom. And she was so wonderfully, amazingly nice. And we were like, wow, yeah, like we need to, we need an adoptive mother or something to help us out. And, and, and boom, you guys saw what happened with that one. Jay, it's just they, they, they get yeah, close to you. So we that did, they... and we had a lot to listen to because of the messages that you were leaving them. And it sounded to me like you were straight up fucking using her for money. And like just constantly asking for more and more and more and then acting all butthurt when they have to put their foot down and couldn't continue to do it. Then you started leaving messages, voice messages for her saying all kinds of shit. And one of the ones I remember was like saying, oh, well, if you want to know how to be there for us or whatever, you know, uh, money talks. That's what I'll say. Money talks, AKA give me money or I'm not listening. they're in in stabbing position that they're in a good position to get a knife real good right in your side and that's what it's about so i'm done with that shit i'm not i oh christina thank you for the super chat you said oh it's their trouble in paradise with them and drag laugh my ass off i thought he was their buddy now <laughs> he had some here's some birthday money shit i mean carrie <laughs> Thank you, Christina. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's so weird. They go back and forth with that a lot. Specifically, it seems like with drag. It's like, you know, sometimes they're talking about him like, uh, you know, he's this cool dude and they're, oh, yeah, drag's great and whatever. Then the, you know, next time they're talking about him saying that he is a psychopath and a stalker and all this, like, make up your mind. But once again, that's another situation where they benefit from that from time to time. And I do know, I mean, Drag has said he's given them money before for things. Um, and, you know, I'm sure when things like that are going on, they're probably really cool with him. As um, soon as he's not doing something like that, uh, you know, he's going to go back to being a piece of shit. So. Um, Bucky, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Thank you. Why? It's like it's like welcoming abuse. That's what I would be doing. If 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 I was into that type of thing, I don't know. I, I I'd have a lot more to talk to my therapist about than I already do. If I was into people deliberately coming into my life to do nothing but stab me in the in in the in the side it's a shame we can't trust anyone these days yeah that's right gucci trolls it's true i i don't it's insane but i again if you have to listen to those channels listen to them but but don't let me know because i won't talk to you again i won't I, I i you'll be labeled like like paul told me in the bible that if I got a person, tell no, I'm not as innocent at all, not even close. That that uh, the first chance that they get is, is there's going to be a shiv in my back. He <laughs> tells me to mark and avoid people my like back. that, and I'm going to do it from now on. So don't let me know. But yeah, if you watch those people. Do it for entertainment's sake and nothing else, because nothing of what they say is accurate or true. Bullshit. And, and when I say bullshit, see, and this is the thing, Rev. There are there is proof of what we have said, or I have said at least. There's proof. There's receipts. I'm not just throwing shit out there. I actually have things to back that up. And then also I have your words alone. You fucking admit to shit all the time. Like, um, Nick, you said you shared a pic I made um, when bored last night in your memes channel. Okay, cool. I'll pull that up. Thank you, Nick. Hey, accurate or true, they might say things that have actually happened, but they spin it. It's just like Fox News with any... 
public figure. Uh, Fox News will take a Democrat and, and say all this crazy, horrible stuff about them. The actual event that happened may be true, but they will spin the person, everything else in the person's life to make them look like the devil himself. And that's exactly what's been done to us on a level, on a scale that's insane for people that are YouTubers. Yeah, it is. And we were never able to, to be successful enough to make uh, a, a money on it if for any amount of time because they, we were slandered and lied about so much that they threw us off the platform and we, we are done there. Like we're, they, we're not allowed on there anymore. I, so we can't make money on Twitch. We've been banned on Twitch too now at this point. So you want to listen to those people, fine, but don't come to us with it. Don't send Shanny emails. Don't do that stuff. Just listen to it if you had. Uh, they only do it for content. They can't come up with their own content. Yeah, that's right, Gucci Trolls. You're right. That's 100% right. If they, Which I don't get because there's plenty of people that have enough of a personality to at least talk, talk about headlines. Like just do headline shows. That's what the, I love doing that stuff. And every I can't do shit though. It's it, it, I'm banned everywhere. Uh, I say too much stuff. If I let my mouth go with 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 certain topics, then they ban me for that. So it's it, it's ridiculous. It's it's just stupid. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I I just wish it would stop. Yeah. You know, these are grown adults acting like teenagers mm -hmm. and, and, and demonizing people who shouldn't be demonized. No. We made mistakes, but it's nothing that's, the, you know, neither one of us tried to steal an American election. <laughs> We've made mistakes, but like, oh, we didn't kill anyone. My. No. God, no. no. Hold on, hold on. I, am I going to get in trouble for sharing this, Nick? Are you trying to get my channel struck down? Because if I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. Oh, my Lord. Here we go. Nick, Nick Geek Out made this. No, don't show it. Should I not? How about this? This is what we'll do. I'm, I'm not going to show it just to be safe. Um, but like I said earlier, you know, I have a discord and we do share stuff there. Um, if you really want to see it, come over there and uh, check it out. That way I'm not going to risk, you know, get, I don't want to get a strike. So, but thank you, Nick. And it is funny. <laughs> it is funny. All right. How far are we into this? Do we want to, I, I think we might be uh, to the point where we were yesterday and we can move on unless some of you, uh, you know, want to continue or whatever. Um, but ourselves. Yeah. But even that, it was... Like, I'm going to grab something to drink really quick, guys. So I'm going to let this play for a second. I'll be right back. Like, it was one or two things. And, and that's the cancel culture stuff. You get one or two instances of something that's, oh, maybe that was wrong. And on top of it, we admitted what was wrong and asked for forgiveness for what we did that, what, that was wrong. Yeah, but they have this other technique that we're trying to hide stuff. Okay, well, there's... I, I, there's no way everyone makes mistakes. No one's perfect. Yeah, that's right, Gucci Trolls. But the new culture, though, is cancel culture. It is. And if you want to be a part of, a, of like, streaming, of, like, of like this new media, this, this is a new entertainment uh, genre, what I'm doing right now, just grabbing your phone and going live on Instagram, this is something new. Okay, within the last, okay. say, 10 years, whatever. I'm back, I'm back. Um, So I think we we did, Uh, it's in, Tracy's going to be in the memes is where he posted that in the um, 
Discord server. Um, I think we've gotten to what we watched. If any of you didn't see the rest of this, um, I did cover it last night. So you can check that out. Um, and let me drop the link to this Graveyard Flowers one more time. Because you can always go and just watch it directly there if you don't want the commentary with it. Um, so, let's see. Um, well, how about this? Let's do a poll. I'm going to let this play for another minute or two because I want to do a poll really quick, okay? Let me pull that up. Whatever. Right. 10, 15 years. They make an entire, it's entertainment. They make an entire entertainment genre out of people like us. Yep. And they do make money at it, which is insane because the people, the people that have Hi, made Rabbit the Old content Bat. never get their money. Thank you for the super chat, Rabbit Old Bat. You said, hello, Carrie, Michael, and chat. Hello. How are you doing, Rabbit Old Bat? I hope you're doing good. No. Every time that these people take an Instagram video of mine, and I'm sure this will happen, it'll be on Carrie or somebody, every single time that that's done and they make money on it, I should be getting a cut of that. And Shani uh, should get a cut of that. That's just the no. way it is. That's kind of, fair use doesn't mean that you just willy-nilly can take everybody's content. That isn't how it works. You're supposed to have written permission to start with. Most people who go at others online stay behind a fake name so you can't find out their skeletons in their closet. Yeah, the, and then they got 15 million sock accounts, and then you block them, and it doesn't matter. You spend a lifetime blocking these people, too. So they say the best defense against this is blocking. Well, not really. When you have 50 million sock accounts, it's insane. It's stupid. I wish there was something on Gmail where you can block all emails that are not in your uh, contacts. Contacts, yeah. Ah, uh, we'll see. That's <laughs> you use email for other things like like you know business or government and stuff yeah. like that, and it's just. I, I understand what you're saying, but it's just not possible. It's like, yeah, true. It's just like if somebody knows, you know. Okay. So true, Gucci. It sucks. And I uh, just just dropped the poll, so make sure you vote. Uh, and let me know what you guys want to watch next. Shows how afraid they are to be found out. Yeah, th that's true. Blinging things. And but it's like. When you have so many people that have agreed with their own, the, the, the moral compass that they have, that they find that it's okay to slander a person to the point of non-existence, there's not much you can do about it. No. That's just the truth. They're going to go live and they're going to slander you. And, and as long as... Um. I, I see that Drader's live. What do you guys want me to do? I don't want to I don't want to snipe him. Um, so, or do you guys just want me to end the stream and you can go over there? Um, and by birthday video, what do you mean? The one that we just watched or another one? Um, I'll pull up G-Man's new stream. Hold on. Let's see. Um, where is it? There it is. I'm assuming this is it. Let me. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it's this one. It's not very long if this is what you guys were talking about. Yes, yes, everybody, look, it's G-Man. Isn't he amazing? Was that it? No. It didn't. Yeah. He really has a situation like that. You don't want to put a rich... You know, they'll practice Titus 3 
9 through 11. Yeah. Label us as heretics and move on. Ew, God. <laughs> God, he is so nasty when he eats. Both of them are. I, I, like, ugh. You are missing something, Jess. Oh, oh my God. That's a pet peeve. I can't handle, like, sounds of people, like, chewing and stuff loud like that. It really, like, ugh. He made a video today scream. saying that Revelation News and Shanty for Sin, he called her Shanty for Sin, are for themselves. So yeah, get caught up. You know why he's doing this? The motherfucker needs money again. Huh. Jeez. The motherfucker needs money again. You want to shut me up? Give me money. God, two. God, that was awful. Oh my god. Um, all right, that was short. I do know. Um, G Man did a stream, a live stream the other day, and he it actually was in regards to me. Um, I haven't played it on my channel yet because. I'm pretty sure it's going to get me um, a little bit of hate from some other people. Um, but if you would like, I can, we could watch that next. It's not that long. Um, if you guys want to, if you're interested in hearing what he has to say, if not, we can just go on to something else. Um, Rabbit old bat, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I want to slap Jason. Don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> Thank you, Rabbit Old Bat. Um, so let's see where we're at with this uh poll that we did. It looks like the winner. Oh shit. It's tied between Jesse and Rev and Shanny. So now what do I do? <laughs> Oh, shit. Um, do, are you guys interested in the G-Man one? Do you want me to watch? We could pull that one up really quick and then go on to something else. Liquid Shanny. I know we're going to get to that, some idiot. We're definitely going to get to that. All right. For now, let's let's pull this stream up from G-Man for those of you who haven't seen it. And I just want to say, before I play it, before I, anything, like, I'm not, you know, working with G-Man. We're not, uh, like, I don't talk, I don't even talk to him out, like, outside of being cordial on YouTube. You know what I mean? Um, so I just want to make that clear. Cause I think some people kind of like, when, when they hear this, they're, they're going to think things and, uh, yeah. Anyway. Hello everybody. And welcome to the, uh, sowing and reaping YouTube channel. G-Man, your host, and today what I want to do is, I was supposed to do this yesterday, and I want to apologize for not doing it, because um, I was just really busy, and um, I got time now, so I want to do it now, and what I want to do is I want to try to give Carrie some practical advice about Bye, um, Eden. these betrayals that she's going through here online, um, and how to cope with them a little bit better. Um, where she doesn't feel the need that she needs to get these people attention. Now, I know this is probably when Michael or Carrie's going to mute, mute it and say, well, you know, I'm not necessarily doing it. These people are just funny, huh? You know what I mean? Just, just, just hear me out. Just, just, just hear me out. All right. Um, Carrie, I think you need to look at yourself the way some other, how you doing, Carrie? How you doing? Um, Miss uh, Murdoch. You got to look at yourself the way some other content creators will look at you. Um, you got to understand what you what you have been able to do. For the longest time, there has been a handful of YouTube content creators that have consistently made videos about Shani and have made money off of uh, making videos off of Shani. Um, and that was their primary goal and focus. That and also to create awareness about some of the things that Shani has done. And you have come out of nowhere 
and uh, started a channel and uh, beat people to the punch with news and doing other things. And you have taken a big chunk of the audience that um, these people had. I'm going to name... Uh, uh, now, I do want to make something clear about this because um, I, this is one thing that I think maybe G-Man uh, didn't get right here but, um, and that I've noticed is when it comes to like me and comparing me to some of the reaction channels that have been here for a while um you know i'm obviously the newer one but um uh what I, my brain just like i just had a brain fart hold on it'll come back to me what was i just thinking should i name the channel things and oh, you oh oh i know god there um we don't we actually don't share the same audience um which i know that might be like weird like well gotta be we got, but really if i if you go if you're in my streams and you're um in the chat if you go to the geek room um or to uh drag or jewels or whatever um uh you'll notice and you'll see that we don't really share the same audience. I don't know if it's just people, you know, know what they like and they've, you know, made a conscious choice to go one way or the other. Um, but we really don't. We're, we really don't share the same audience from what I've seen. Um, so I don't really feel like I've, you know, stole or like taken a lot of their audience. Like I said, I think that, you know, most of them have like, ride or die people that are supporting them and stuff and so uh, you know of course obviously they don't like me um and uh you know i've been doing this now doing these streams for almost a year and i feel like we've kind of like made our own little community here and uh you know like i said I, I i don't think we share the same audience but you know what even if we do to a certain extent let's there's plenty of shanny there is plenty of shanty to pass around you know what i mean we can all cover her the more people that expose them the better is the way that i look at it you have taken a big chunk of the audience that um these people had i'm gonna name uh, well, should i name the channels i'll name two of them one of them you're indirectly affecting the geek room. I know that. And you're indirectly, I don't know about directly, but you are definitely indirectly uh, affecting Dragnet and his views. Um, people like, and, and I'm one of them, I like your style of um, how you go about um, uh, uh, exposing uh, Shani and Rev. Um, you have a perspective on this that some of the other people don't. And I think some of these other, and I'm going to talk about the content creators first. This is not true about all of them. I don't, I don't think this is true about all of them. So I don't want nobody sending me a bunch of hate mail. But I think that some of them may be a little jealous because they see the success that your YouTube channel is having. Um, and because of that, they're going behind the scenes and talking to other content creators about you behind your back, I think. Uh, I know this for a fact that this could be happening because this happened to me where uh when drag uh, first started the summer a g-man what he was doing was he was going into emails and he was um it wasn't just him it was a whole bunch of the people that he's affiliated with too um give me a second here real quick guys hold on and what they were doing but see this is the thing too though like unfortunately i knew when i watched this you know him saying something i i just knew that i was going to get backlash for it you know what i mean um and so i think a lot of people um are kind of like you know who the hell does she think she is she's nobody special you know and so then something like that you know comes and and of course that just irritates them even more um and it's crazy because at the end of it even though i had nothing to do with him making this didn't talk to him about it didn't whatever I will like get blamed for it partly. You know what I mean? Um, even though it's not my words, I you know that's how it'll be taken, and that's a shame. 
there we go. And what they were doing is they, they would go to my friends and talk about me behind my back and then they would stop supporting my channel. And I would know this because other Christians would tell me that this was, this is what, what, what was going on. I'll get into that in a minute, Dave. Um, you got to understand, people got opinions about you already, but they're not willing to express those opinions to you uh, because they don't feel the need to. They don't feel like a big enough situation has come to, and I'm, I'm referring to myself right now, and then I'll get to you in a minute, Carrie, um, where they won't say nothing directly to you. Uh, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. A lot of you know I'm friends with Veckel. And um, Veckel's a Calvinist, and I'm not. And um, Calvinists are not necessarily all I like. <laughs> um, Chi Town, that's that's uh, I've heard that as well. Um, I know um, David Anthony, which I love David. Um, he uh, spoke about this after watching it, and um, he, you know said to just be careful because he said that you know basically he says that g-man is uh like no better than I any of the other ones and that he if he's doing this that is he's doing it you know basically like to uh for his own good or his own wants and needs um and essentially that you know he's trying to use me or whatever i, I won't say that i do or do not believe that um I, I can say um, there's nothing that he's done as far as, like, he's never asked me to do any. Like, I don't know really much what it benef would be benefit him to, um, you know, do this because it's not really changing anything. But, um, you know, it's, it's a theory and I'm willing to, uh, anything's possible, basically, so. <laughs> But I'm really good friends with Veckel. veckel has been there for me through some hard times or whatever. But um, people have gone to him in private and I tried my laugh, to. La my evil laugh. Oh, God. I never, I have never, like, thought about that or known that or whatever. But now, every time when I laugh like that, when I laugh, it's usually when I'm laughing pretty hard. Um, I hear it now. Clear as day. I'm like, oh, my God. I do sound like a fucking witch. Like. I'm self-conscious now about my laugh because I don't want to seem like evil. Uh, <laughs> turned him against me and he's told me on, on Skype, he's told me on the phone, I have his personal phone number. Um, he's told me in person how people have to, have tried to uh, uh, get him to stop supporting me. And, and then when he didn't, they would attack him. And I believe that this might be going on with you, Carrie. Uh, uh, Auntie Jesse was on your channel. I've heard you shout out other YouTube channels and now all of a sudden certain people don't want to support you no more and they're bad mouthing you and I think it's because they're talking to some people behind the scenes. Now for the people that are not doing this there's another group of people out there where they might just be riding you for views and subscribers. When somebody sees that you're getting all of this attention you might not have like 30 40,000 subscribers and don't ever let nobody discourage you on the subscriber issue but when you got like, because I think at one time I saw you with like 400 people watching you live one time talking about Shani. When people start seeing that, they get jealous. And oh, no, 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 not jealous. I'm sorry. That was the whole thing. They want to ride that. They want to ride that wave. So what they'll do is, is that they'll try to constantly get you to shout the channel out or whatever so that their channel can get the magical 1000. Um... Bastard the green, I will hurt you. I will hurt you. 1,000 uh, subscribers, because you know when you get the 1,000 subs, that means you can get super chats. You know what I mean? I think that's what's going on right now. I think you're starting to see who's really your peeps and who are not your peeps. The people that are your peeps are going to be the ones that are going to consistently uh, back you when you write about the things that you're doing. And the people that really care about you will not only back you, but they'll also correct you when you're wrong about something. And those are the people that you want to keep real close to you. Um, I agree with so that. So you got some people that are, listen to me, Carrie, just, just take my advice on this, okay? Um, pick the f top five people that support you on here, Michael included. I'm, I'm, I'm just keeping it a buck fifty, okay? Pick, and, and if Michael's watching this, he'll understand what I'm saying, this, okay? But 
pick the top five uh, people that are your supporters on here. Expect three of them to stop supporting you. It hey, I, I mean, I think it's pretty spot on with that part. I mean, it, on it, like if we're going to get technical, I mean, it's already happened. You know, I've already lost two people. So, um, yeah, I mean, doing this is a very competitive thing. And, you know, a lot of people say things like, oh, well, it's just the Internet and don't take it serious and whatever. But but people do take it serious. And I mean, say whatever you want. You can act like you don't care. But if you have a YouTube channel and, you, and you're doing that, like, you can't tell me you don't care a little bit about it being successful and getting views and getting subscribers. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I forget where I was going with that. It will lessen the blow when it happens. I told Dragnet and he ignored me. I told Dragnet this. I told the Geek Room this. I told Burnt. I told a lot of these people these things and they didn't want to listen. I'm going to tell you, Carrie, the bigger you get, the more enemies you're going to make. The bigger you get, the more people are going to know about you. The bigger you get, um, the more jealous people you're going to have out there regarding you. And you got to be careful with that because um, as your channel grows, you're going to attract a lot of moles and a lot of people that's going to want to see you fail. Just, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. I believe that. Well, and I've said this before, but that's the other thing that, um, whether it be that my channel's new and people have been doing it longer, um, whether it be the content that I cover, um, the style of what I do or whatever, a lot of these other content creators they just simply do not think i um like deserve or have earned to uh do as well as i have like and um what sucks is that like people there there were people that i thought were my friends and i thought that they you know thought better of me i i didn't like and after shit goes down at some of the things that they have said it's like pretty clear to me that they never they never really liked me like it was just you know about furthering whatever you know they were trying to do and um unfortunately like i try i don't want to change the kind of person that i am because i think that it's the people there needs to be people that are that are willing to give other people a chance and things like that but i'm definitely learning since i've been doing this now that like it's just um <sighs> you you don't need to put besides even trust a lot of trust in other people but you just need to be prepared and um, not really let your guard down. Uh, and when you do meet, like if you are friendly with someone and you you are like doing things that are helping them or whatever, go into it knowing that what you're doing could, that it's still like that somebody will, you know, be just fine with you when you're doing that and, but they will still turn on you very very quickly when you're not doing what they want and um so you just have to be aware of that and keep your guard up you know what i mean um remember dragnut was number one at one time and i love teasing him about this because it's just true and he knows it he was numero uno with dealing with shanny was and then i think uh number two might have been um I don't know if it was a geek room or whether or not it was BGTV, but I know it kind of fluctuated. I know BGTV and Miss Parker was getting a lot. Uh, I would say BGTV probably. I don't know. But Dragnet was the number one person at one time. Now he's not number one no more. And I think it's him and me, or, or, or his supporters. And uh, maybe some people that are supporting the geek room that's trying to take you down. Because it's, it's becoming plain, plainly obvious now that a lot of people are starting to uh, talk about you 
well, not a lot of people. There are a few key people in here talking about you, and I think they've been directly influenced by those people. And you need to be careful uh, and start protecting yourself. If you hear them say certain things, download it. Make sure you get a copy of it. If you go into your Discord, make sure you're you're recording things so that people can't say they never said anything. Be careful with these people because, like I said, some people are here just riding you for popularity, and that's it. Well, the other thing is, as that I've been experiencing as well, is that it, it doesn't have to just be about like about you know uh, it being competitive or whatever. Like when you put yourself out there, um, and more and more people are coming to know you or whatever, like it, you, it's just the odds. Like there are going to be some crazy people. <laughs> that are going to be coming around. You know what I mean? Like it will happen. And that's what I'm dealing with is somebody that literally I think might be like out of their mind, like to the point that it's kind of worrisome and kind of scary because they're that like obsessed. Um, It's weird. It's really weird. Um, so that comes with the territory too. You have to be aware of that kind of shit. Uh, Rabbit old bat, thank you for the super chat. You said, not going to lie. I had some misgivings at first. I sat back and watched and changed my mind. Oh, thank you, Rabbit old bat. I really appreciate that. And I totally get it. Like, I totally get it. And I think a lot of people did get the wrong impression of me um, in the beginning. And uh, I think that some people you know, thought that I was just going to like give up and run right back off the internet. And, um, obviously I didn't do that. And I've just tried to, um, treat everybody with, you know, give everybody a chance, um, and give people the opportunity to get to know me better and then prove from that, from them getting to know me and my actions, that I'm not what some of these people um, imply or uh, have said that I am. Because some of it's just straight up lies. And then uh, others is just, it's a personality thing. They just don't like me or they don't think I'm funny or they're whatever. Um, but it means a lot to me that you were willing to, you know, be open-minded and give me a chance, you know? And I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you, Rabbit Old Bat. Billy, thank you for the super chat. I love you, Billy. You said, love your style, Carrie. You rage on Shani and Rev. Don't claim to be an expert knowing all the lore, all the knowledge, which is a sad flex in my opinion. You don't insert yourself in their space to troll them. Thank you, Billy. I really appreciate that. Yes, that's uh, that's a good example of uh, a, another point that I could make with this is that, you know, what what some people or what someone has said is like, oh, well, I'm, you know, I'm obsessed with Shani. They're they're saying that I'm obsessed with Shani. So I guess like uh, that justifies somebody being obsessed with me and all that but but the thing in or like harassing me um and that's where the difference is because i do not harass shani okay i cover content that she puts out on the internet publicly i i um <clears throat> uh nah. My mind keeps going blank today. I don't know. I'll think of it in a second. God dang it. It's really getting frustrating. Uh, Brick with eyes. I agree and I disagree with you. I got to quit looking at the chat because that's what I think is doing it. It Like I look at the chat to see what you guys are saying and it my mind just goes boop. Um, let me see. Let me read the what Billy was saying again because that's what I was responding to. Oh, yeah. The harassment thing. So um, what you know, the difference is, is I cover that stuff, right? I show it on my channel. But what I do not do is I don't go into Shani's streams and start harassing her in the chat. I don't post things and tag her in them. I don't tag Shani in any of these videos or anything. 
Like I'm not tagging her and, and hooking and now you can't cause she's not on YouTube, but, um, you know, I'm not making, uh, you know, phone calls, like doing wellness checks and like, um, I, you know, I, uh, I don't ever cross the line of forcing them to see my content and the things that I say, meaning, you know, I'm not tagging them. I'm not doing anything like that. So if they see my content, it's because they're making a conscious choice to watch it. I'm not there, you know, shoving it down their throat, you know, and I think that there is a difference in that. So sure, I cover Shani a lot. So people could say, oh, well, she's obsessed, but not not to the point of like harassment or anything like that. You know, it's like I cover her a lot. I'm on top of it. And maybe some people think that's weird, but it doesn't go any further than that. And uh, I think that, yeah, I mean, honestly, in, in the situation that I'm dealing with right now, it just kind of sucks because if you don't have a lot of people to uh, report an issue like that, being that I'm a smaller channel and things like that, it's just YouTube, like, they don't really pay attention to that. You know what I mean? It's hard to um, to prove. And so you just, I kind of just feel like I've just got to deal with it. You know what I mean? Uh, and I try to ignore it for the most part, but it does get to a point where it's like, it's a little overwhelming. It, I'll say that it's a little overwhelming, but anyway, Billy, thank you for the super chat. And I apologize for uh, rambling on. Cause I know I'm talking a lot right now and I apologize for the, for my brain farts because every, I keep losing my train of thought. I don't know why, but it's really bad this morning. So, um, I apologize for that. Try to uh, keep part of the here. reason why Drag walked away is because he didn't want to look at old videos. The, uh, there was another reason why he walked away too. He was getting some criticism about how he was treating women here on the internet. I'm fully aware of that. Um, he also um, uh, is not necessarily telling the truth about not wanting to review old videos. Remember now, isn't he doing some videos about you know uh, Dragnut? Um, Dragnut um, activates uh, his college education mode or whatever. Come on now. And he's still talking about what happened in 1983 or 1842. He keeps talking about these things over and over and over and over again as if they're relevant today. And he's not the only one. The Geek Room's doing the same thing. Burnt toast. Oh, thank you, Bruce, for the super chat. If you want to get revenge on Shani, make yourself a birthday cake out of Delta 8 gummies. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think about that. Wouldn't it be, oh man, it would be really petty to like get Michael to go by the store on the way home and buy like a cake, a birthday cake and ice cream and shit. And I could post about it like, oh, that would be, that would be pretty petty, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, Bruce, thank you for the super chat. Lives in the past too. Happy birthday, Shani. There's Jules. <laughs> He's friends with child abusers. Hi, Danielle. Not friends with them no more. Hey, Soren. You know what I mean? And I have to point that out every now and then. I said, dude, this is 2023. Get over it. All right? But, uh, Carrie, you need to be careful. I'm telling you. Somebody's going to put a real sharp one in your back one day. You need to be really, really careful. I don't know what I don't know a lot about this Auntie Jessie. I know that she's into tarot cards and Ouija boards. I might uh, make a video about her one day <laughs> and advise her about that. But um, um, you know, I need to rebuke her. Not 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 an advice. She needs <gasps> That's what it is. I figured it out. Auntie Jessie is doing some sort of witchcraft on me, and she's making it where I'm losing my train of thought. That's it. That's got to be it. <laughs> rabbit old bad thank you for the super chat you said no <laughs> it's happy birthday bish thank you rabbit old bad <clears throat> needs to be rebuked because ouija cards and tarot cards and that ouija board and all that stuff is not good um um i don't know what directly influenced her but um toe craft <laughs> I can't. 
Soren. Oh my god. She um she was number for you. She made a video about me, really? Can somebody get me the link where uh Auntie Jessie has made a video about me? I'd like to see that and see what she said. And then I'll see about making a video response. But um Gary, you probably already know this stuff, but I'm just letting you know in video what I think about these things as I've had this happen to me. I've had people in here that claimed they were my friends. People in here that claimed, and Shani was one of them, uh, uh, claimed that, that, that they were my friends, claimed that they, you know, would never do this or never do that. And then they, they, put, a, they put a knife on my back. They put a sword on my back. And I'm still recovering from the uh, injuries. You know what I mean? Um, so just because you got people in here, I hey, would never turn on you. Mm hmm sure mm -hmm. uh you when this video is over put it in the comment section just leave a comment saying uh, here's the link g man anybody can do that if you want um and and i'll take a look at it because i'm on my phone right now i can't even i can't screen share it and look at it but I'll, I'll do it tonight if it's juicy enough um i just wanted to point that out i think that um you got some fickle people on the internet. These the, the, these internet friendships on here. The only time you're you're gonna know that they're strong is when you go through tough times, and those same people there are going to support you. That's when you're gonna know who your real friends are on here. All right. I agree. I I actually <laughs> I a hundred percent agree with what he just said there. Um, he is spot on, and luckily I have some of the best mods that there are. Um, and, you know, most of you guys are not, like, just mods, you know what I mean? Like, you're my friends, and you have my back, and you're there for me when, when I am going through a tough time, um, and there's been quite a few, you know, over, if, if, especially for those of you who have been around from fairly, pretty much the beginning of when I started streaming, I mean, it's been a lot. It's been a lot of fucking bullshit and drama and things happening. And, you know, what sucks and what I always feel bad about is that, like, when I do make a friend or when someone, you know, does come out and support me or whatever, then, you know, those same people that fuck with me start fucking with them and making their life hell. And... I, that, you know, really sucks because I don't want anybody else have, going through something like that just because they're, you know, nice to me. And because you, if you're nice to me, you're going to get accused of being a carry simp. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's all really fucking immature, honestly. Um, but it is what it is. Thankfully, I've got some really good people in my corner and... I've got some of uh, some other content creators that like TJ, obviously, on the podcast, but um, you know, Omni, I love Omni. Like he he's been amazing. Um, and uh who else is there? I've I like David Anthony a lot. Like there's been some night Rabbit Old Bat is another one that streams. Um, so I've met some really good people out here, you know what I mean? And uh I really appreciate that and I appreciate the kindness because uh because of what I ha I have been through. Drader, there you go. Thank you for reminding me. Drader, that's a big one. Um but yeah, I think because of all the stuff that went down and that I have been through from the beginning, it makes me appreciate the people that I am friends with and it, my mods that, that are, uh, you know, very close to me. Like it makes me appreciate them that much more because I know how like fucked up people can be on here. And so if you have people around you that are, are good and res respectful and have your back and don't lie and whatever, like you better, you know, keep them close and take care of them because you know it's kind of rare there aren't a lot of them out there um all right let's see we got a little bit more here we'll <laughs> you know what the on. old saying says saying g man when now i have a question for you carrie uh because i'm a little confused about something i know about auntie jesse lowell's cow's production turned on you too 
Or did I miss here? Yep. Did Lowe's Cow's production turn on you too? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, he did. Really? And I think most of you in the chat know what happened when in regards to Jesse and uh, Lowell's Cow Productions. So I'm not going to like, you know, get into all that again. But um, yeah, the reason it both both it's the same reason that for both of them that I uh, do not have anything to do with them anymore. Oh, rabbit old bad. Thank you for the super chat. You said just want to say that this is a warm and welcoming community. Oh, thank you, rabbit old bad. That really means a lot to me. It really does. I'm glad. And uh, I definitely like that's that's because of you guys. You know what I mean? You guys are what makes this community. And um, I do feel like we have like a really like a uh, nice little group. Like, I don't know, maybe it's maybe I'm partial because it's it's me and, and you guys, but, um, I think there are a lot of really good people in this community and I'm really thankful to have all of you guys. Um, so thank you for that. And thank you, rabbit old bat. See, I didn't know that. I thought that there was a, um, that there was a, uh, a misunderstanding <laughs> there or something like Bastard that or whatever, degree. but why did he turn on you? Actually, you know what, I, in your next stream, hopefully you'll talk about it and then I'll get into it and then I can hear for myself. But, um, I thought that he was one of your supporters. Like every time you did your videos, you played um, one of his songs. You promoted his channel. I think I went to his channel yesterday. I think he has a thousand subs. That might be the reason. He probably got what he wanted out of the whole situation and then decided that he didn't want to deal with you no more. And like I said, I'm not attacking Lowell's Cow's Productions. I'm just saying that these kind of things happen on YouTube. That these friendships on 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 the internet, they're they're not like deep ones. Don't treat these friendships on YouTube like 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 you would in real life if you saw one of your girlfriends or one of your um high school mates or something like that or somebody that you know on a regular basis because he, some people are just friends on here with you just to um get what they want thank you gia i appreciate that and then after that they're gone so just keep that in mind i i, I didn't intend to make this into a, a 13 minute video this was only supposed to be a three or four minute video uh with me talking about um what i'm noticing going on with carrie but you need to be careful carrie i've seen dragging those guys work before you need to be careful, all right? Uh, first, they demonize you, and then when they got enough of your audience, you're right, I had to learn a hard way, but I'm more careful now. Good, good, good. David says, uh, Carrie, Carrie seems pretty grounded in reality. I'm not worried for her. Still, it's still good to, uh, to give a warning every now and then. Because, uh, you, David, you notice, you notice just like I... <laughs> Bastard the Green. Happy Wart Day to you. Happy Wart Day to you. <laughs> oh God. It's the demonization and then they attack and then and then they try to destroy you. Because once they get the audience against you, you got no one to back you up. You got no one to protect you. And then that's when they go after you. So be careful, Carrie. That's all I'm saying. All right. Record everything. Trust no one at the end of the day and the people that you know are your real supporters and your friends those are the people that you can confide in but just, just be careful with the people that seem to be around just so they can get their thousand um subscribers all right and with that being said guys i'm gonna wrap this up i got another video that i'm gonna do later uh now carrie i'm gonna watch the one from auntie jesse if um if she says enough stuff in it i'll respond to it uh, but if, uh, if, she, if, if, if it's stupid, like on drags level or whatever, I might not do it. And then I want to get into this codependency with, uh, Rev and Shani. And what I specific, the person I want to specifically focus on is Rev, not Shani so much. Cause I agree with you, Carrie. I think that, uh, Shani is getting ready to leave him. I think that she's, um, that she has a plan and it's going to take a little bit of time, but I think she's going to leave him, you know, and, um, I'll get into how I feel about all of that a little bit later. All right. Drop the link in the comments guys, uh, for auntie Jesse. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Well, I, uh, you know, what do you guys think? I mean, I, I appreciated what, I, you know, I won't say for sure, like, oh, well, this could just be him, you know, uh, I don't know. I mean, trying to manipulate me in some way or something like that. But I really don't get the that kind of vibe. And, um, you know, I think that he made some good points uh you know 
not specifically any like you know what i mean like but i i do think that he uh you know made some good points and was just trying to look out you know um so i can't uh you know hate him for that i i appreciate that and i appreciate the kind words and when it comes to g-man in general what i'll say is i realize he's got he's problematic right he he supported shannon and rev for a long time um and you know he, did he know about things or not know about things that were going on i mean i'm sure he he knew about some of them um but once again and this may be a, my uh, one of my flaws but i feel like if someone makes a change in their behavior um and they actually like you know prove it with their actions and they you know and you can see that um you know i think people do deserve a second chance or you know i don't you know and i feel like i you know i really do feel like he sees now um you know that he was wrong for you know sticking up for them as much as he did and supporting them um as much as he did and I just feel like it's like at least he finally put his foot down at at some point and got away from them and then you know you know exposed them a little bit not a whole lot maybe that we didn't already know but um you know put it this way i'm you know and unless g-man comes you know, for me or, or for anybody, I'll say for anybody, if I see, if I see or hear him like doing something really inappropriate or going after somebody like, then that would definitely make me feel, um, different. But so far since I've, uh, you know, talked to him or whatever, been streaming, been doing these things, um, I haven't seen him do anything that, that I would say was that, um, out of line it's all stuff that went on before that time period so um once again if i saw by his actions that he was doing the same kind of stuff again and uh you know saying some of the things that he has said in the past then i would definitely you know be like Oop, and be done um but until then i'm like you know I i'm you know i'm giving him the chance to be you know cordial with him are we going to be best friends and stuff no but um i'm not going to be calling him out i guess is what the best way to say it like uh he seems like he's made a change and um you know unless he proves otherwise uh that's what i'm going to pay attention to is his actions um anyway enough about that so let's see what we're going to do next. Um, we'll do the one, we'll do the Rev one next um, because this is a good one. I think you guys will like it for those of you who have not seen it. Uh, it is, I think it's from 2020. And, um, the title of it is hey mom betty so apparently this is directed at shani's mother hi vera how are you doing vera can you guys do me a favor and put some hearts in the chat for vera she's had a lot uh you know on weighing on her shoulders lately and um you know if you do pray and believe in things like that if you would take the time say a little prayer for her and her family and um leave some hearts in the chat to show her some love because she needs it right now I have a serious discussion with and uh unfortunately the fact of the matter is is that this woman is so dishonest and deceitful in every way that if I even wanted to, you know, legitimately call her, okay, if I had her oh, contact. I love, you, Vera. I love you too. 
information and talk to her about her dog. Wow, look at how different Rev looks from back then. Like he is, he looks a lot healthier back then than what he looks nowadays. They're, you know, living their lifestyle, like it is definitely taking a toll on the, on, on Shani too. I mean, if you look at her compared to the same time period, she's, she's went downhill quite a bit as well. They both have aged quite a bit and uh, look a little bit worn out and broken, if you know what I mean. Daughter and my relationship with her that even if we had a discussion, the fact of the matter, folks, is because she is a habitual liar, because she has this spirit of ge genocide on her children, specifically, what? Shannon. What? Genocide? Genocide on her children? Um, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what the fuck are you talking about, Rev? So over dramatic. I, I don't know why, but I guess the other ones kind of got off kind of scot free. But, uh, let's just say that That's if I were. Bass of the Green Child Aside, that made me think about that song. You'd be like, oh, oh, sweet child aside, <laughs> instead of child of mine. That could be a parody. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm done. To be able to contact her, <laughs> God, any that communications that I would have with her would be sort would would be pretty much meaningless because I'll tell you why. Because this woman is she she will treat you one way to your face, and I could speak on this from experience because some people in my family are like this. Hey, panda skittles. I, I could speak to her on a one one on one level and she could be a certain way throughout that entire discussion. But then when she would go make a YouTube video about that discussion. Yes, my ass is dragging. I don't know what that towel is necessarily for, but it is the same towel that is always there and that concerns me because they're not washing it most likely and there's no telling what is on that towel. Uh, we don't want to know. I mean, I'll just say this. This is when the place that you see him out right here, this is where they lived when they did the OnlyFans. So use your imagination. What could be on the towel? Things are very different. You see? Because we're dealing with a liar. That's the problem. As most of you guys know, know, my mom, my biological mother, passed away went in uh, on January 20th of 2012. Most people that know me know that about me because I talked about my mom a lot because uh, she was a great Christian and just an, in general just a great woman. But I would love to have another mother because mine has has passed on to be with Jesus for now, which I'm okay with because it was her time. I'm okay with that now. In-laws can be cool. Yeah, dude, that's my thing, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I would love to have a mother again. And from what I've seen of... I'm really lucky because my in-laws are amazing. I love Michael's mom and dad. Shannon's well, father. Mother. But, but biological mother as well. I, I He seems like a lovely man. And, she, and when Shannon speaks of him in a nice way, which she does sometimes, she reminisces about good times with him. Um, uh, he buddy. seems like the type of... Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, thank you guys for being here, all 207 of you. If you have not liked the stream, 
why don't you go ahead and do that? And uh, while you're at it, if you haven't sub subscribed, then you need to do that as well. Uh, make sure to turn notifications on so you will get notified when I go live. I usually go live once a day, maybe more than that. <laughs> but usually you'll see me every day. The guy that I would totally lock up with, like he listens to Zeppelin and, you know, he spins records. He likes sci-fi movies. You know, he could even read my shitty sci-fi novel and tell me it's pretty good and when it's really not. You know, I would love that. Busted, I would love to have bastard the green. You're busted, Carrie Simp. You are Carrie Simp. You just exposed yourself, okay? Brothers and sisters. Holy crap! I was an only child. I I, I would love to see what that's like to have a brother and sister. Michael? All of these things, folks. Michael. <laughs> what? That sounded weird. Michael. I'm gonna hurt you. You don't want to see me every day? You don't like waking up to this beautiful face? This beautiful, beautiful forehead? Is this forehead not good enough for you? But see, the problem is, Betty. Now, you know, you could, you could say this is just me doing Shannon's bidding because she's no longer on the internet. I can tell you that's bullshit. Sounds like a solid dude. Yeah, exactly, dude. He does, right? Yeah, Shannon's father, from what I've seen of him, he's a well-spoken, intelligent, very nice man. But the problem is Betty, his wife. She's like cancer, folks. How's the hangover? I don't have a hangover. Sorry, I got coffee. I'm, I don't have any hangover. Goes to Caesar. Sorry. I ain't drinking, dude. I don't drink. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. You know, I know, I don't know, weed hangover, whatever. I, I, I don't have any hangover, sorry. But anyway, back to the story. Uh, fuck me, man. If you knew, if you knew what this woman was like, uh, you, you would understand. That's all I could say to you. If you knew what this woman was like, you would well, totally. Well, we don't. We don't know what she's like, so why don't you fucking explain it? Why don't you actually give, like, you know, uh, some sort of <clears throat> evidence and proof of what you're saying at all? Or at least explain it. I understand why Shannon is the way she is, number one. Oh, Maggie, Betty is uh, Shannon's mom. Which, once you know her quirks... And her triggers and stuff. Shannon is a, 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 the coolest chick on the planet. Okay. Right. And she's hot and all that. Mm -mm. Betty is a sweetheart. Everyone loves Betty. Well, if you're talking about Betty the kitty cat, uh, G-Man's kitten, I would agree. Everybody loves Betty. But this Betty, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, no, no. This is a different Betty. Mm. And for the people that know this woman, holy shit. Uh, I, spiritually speaking, it's a challenge. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'm not, I'm not going to slander because I, I, don't, I don't roll with that at all anymore for anyone. Oh, Rabbit Slander. Thank you for the super chat. You could use Rev on faces of meth. Damn. Rabbit old bat is brutal. Brutal. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbit old bat. The speech to me is, is, is blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. Betty is so nice. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to speak to her directly, and I'm just going to tell you, you you don't think it's any coincidence, and G-Man almost threw Betty last night. Oh, my God, dude. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, he's going to do what he does. But anyway, 
I'm just going to speak to her directly and say to you Faces of that black. you don't think it's, you know what you did recently. And you don't think that me and Shannon aren't smart enough to know <coughs> that you deleted your fucking account, Burnt Toast, right at the same time. You actually think that we're not that we're not intelligent enough to unravel that mystery. Well, you're pretty dumb then, if that's the case. Yeah, his cat was activating him. Activating him? What exactly does that mean, dude? <laughs> activating him. Okay. I've seen him legitimately terrify cats, that's for sure. What? Getting Betty and, and putting her right up in the camera with Arden Ra. Was it Arden Ra? I think it was. And he's like, look at the cat. Like, what the hell, G-Man? What? Okay. What did he do? What did G-Man do with the cat? I don't recall hearing that story, but I'm curious. Arden Ra, was it Arden Ra? I think it was. And he's like, look at the cat. Like, what the hell, G-Man? Okay, you got a kitten. That's cool, dude. Uh, why do you think I am her? My channel's still up. Burn Toast is still up, man. Well... I can't bring up your profile, but that's interesting. I'm half her age, haha. Okay. Well, I I know there was someone going by burnt toast. Maybe it's not you, dude. Probably auto correct for attack. Uh, auto correct for attacking. Okay. <clears throat> there was a person. Named Burnt Toast, and she was in Dragnaut Silvis's live chat and said it was, it was, her. She admitted to it. It Burnt Toast was Betty. She said it. Rev, help Jenny find a good mat massage therapist. That's so crazy. They think Burnt Toast is Betty. Where did they get this shit from? Physical therapist to help her with her fibromyalgia. Ab what am I saying? I know where they got it from. They got it from the chat. and Because literally, you can go in Shani and Rev's chat and say anything, and they will run with it. They will believe it. You know what I mean? That is, the, go tell them the sky is fucking purple. And they'll be like, oh my god, it, it is? That's crazy. Absolutely troll. You're, the, that's funny that your name is troll, but you... Always have pretty good shit to say. Rev News, what's your spaghetti policy? Huh? What? Oh, you don't, you want me to ignore it? Okay. Shanny. Looking rough. Well, I think I look pretty fucking good. I'm feeling pretty good. So, yeah, I said what I needed to say, and I uh, actually, you know, to the guys in chat, like, things have gotten so stressful uh, that, like, the want to even engage in chat now has basically gone to zero. So, I am going to close this out by saying pretty much simply this, that these drama channels... You might find them fun or whatever, but I want you to know that literally 90% of what they say, and I could tell it. All right, get ready because Shani's about to get her panties in a wad. It's all lies. What? No. Because literally she is my mama. What? What? Would you just talk to me? I'm going to end this, all right? Yeah, I did.
Yes, I yes I did. That's not true. I folks, did I fucking talk to her in this stream? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, wow, really? I didn't say shit. Apparently I'm gonna have to go back and listen to this because I didn't say shit. Uh, well, all right, folks, let me expand on what I've already told you. That the problem in this family is her. It's Shannon's mother. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put this browser window away. And I'm just going to look at myself talking. Uh, I could go, I, I mean, if you want me to take you through a history of what I know about Shannon's relationship with her mother, I could do that. We need to find out and what let's, she's wanting you to say, because that's the fucking problem. Let's just say that at the end of the day, her mother turns out looking... I won't just say a bad mother, but she looks satanic. Oh my god. With what she's done to her daughter. Satanic. Very early in her life, she would take her daughter's arm out of socket. Because yep. she's a nurse, she knows how to do this. By the way, this is a story that they stole from David Anthony. Didn't happen to Shani. Happened to him. This type of shit. That is torture. That's the type of stuff that if you get caught doing it, you would go to jail probably for 20 to life. You're doing this to your child. She's been habitually, emotionally abusive to her since the time that she could speak. And probably before that. Hi, Marion. Shannon said you that you, you, what, what age did you speak at first, honey? Four. Four. That's a sign that you have. Do you guys believe that, that Shani didn't start speaking till she was four? I find that hard to believe. Not that she's not an idiot, so she could be a little slow, but, uh, four? I, I don't believe that have Asperger's or trauma, right? Trauma. So what we have in Betty McGraw is a woman that should have been up on child abuse charges and probably, if not put in jail, um, severely reprimanded and put in psychological treatment for the things that she's done to her daughter. That's the type of woman you're dealing with. Right. Yeah. She never let Shannon have friends, normal friends. She never let Shannon go to public engagements like school dances and such. Um, and what is that? We could go on the psychological discussion here. What is that? That's isolating, folks. That's isolating someone. That's what kidnappers do. What do kidnappers do with the children when they kidnap them? Put them in the basement, lock the door. You can't talk to nobody. You can't look at nobody. You talk to me and nobody else. That's what a kidnapper would do, right? That's exactly what her mother has done to her. My whole life. Her whole life. Yes, just alert. Her entire I, life. He is, Shani's mad that he wasn't saying enough um, about her in the video about her mom. She, he, she started throwing a little fit, so he had to get back up and start saying some more shit. She deliberately, and I can attest to this because she, she tried to do it to me. Uh, 
she will act like the sweetest old lady that you've ever met. And then once she's got you in this feeling like she's a benevolent figure, she'll start gossiping and telling you all of these terrible lies about people that she doesn't like. <coughs> That's how she is. So when Shannon was going through the shit with Chris that she was going through, and she had to stay with her for a little while because of the house situation, when, she, when Shannon first came home, it was like Shannon said to me, it was like Joseph in the coat of many colors. Oh, my God, my son's alive, you know? Uh, the parable of the, of the, uh, the uh, rich guy that gives his, um, the inheritance to... Omni! There's Omni. You guys, we had a wild night last night on Omni stream. If you huh? haven't seen it, the prodigal son. Yeah, thank you. It's a good one. The parable of the prodigal son exactly. that goes out with his inheritance, ends up in pig troughs, and he crawls back home to his father with no inheritance and says, please, father, take me. You know, I, I, I'll I, just, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Just please take me back. And the father says, oh, my God. The other son that stayed with his father, he said, kill the fattest calf because my son's alive. He thought he was dead. That's how she that's how she treated Shannon when she first got to that door. But after that, it was all abuse. And I heard it all. I heard it all. Because I was on the phone with Shannon up to 14 hours a day. Then. <coughs> because we had pretty much made the decision without a doubt that we were going to be together. That's the truth. So you're dealing you're dealing with a true sociopathic narcissistic abuse. Okay, I just dropped the link to Omni's channel, but I'm posting the link to the stream from last night. Um so that way if you missed it, you can check that out because it was great. Omni was on fire and I loved every single second of it. I really did. Abuser. And you people treat her like she's, you know, the, every word that comes out of her mouth is gospel. That's how you treat her. For I don't know why. You don't know her any better than you know Shannon. Less. You know her less. I didn't tell you I know. Yeah. There would be a lot of people talking psychologically about that. My God, what the fuck is that? Psychological what kind? She, my wife just said, and it's very true. What kind of mother gossip gossips about? That's hilarious. That <laughs> Dinacat says they're all bragging uh, over on their big win over you and Carrie last night. That was they consider that a win. That is hilarious. And oh, by the way, I'm just curious. Let's see. Okay. Looks like OmniStream got 1,400 views last night. Oh. Oh. Mm. What a shame. Well, at least the Geek Room, they did break 1,000, which is really good for them. So good job, guys. Good job. Her own daughter on the internet. Who does that? I'll tell you who. An abusive woman. Which is what she is. To everybody. To, to the guy that she stays with 24-7. Her husband. Who has no... He has no balls. That's my issue with him. I like him. But when it comes to his... <coughs> wife, he will never stand up and he'll say nothing when it needs to be said. Now you'll say, oh, Rev, that's, cot, that's pot meat kettle because you, you do the same thing with Shannon. No, that's not true. No. If we have a disagreement on somebody, we usually 
make an agreement that we have a disagreement, and then I say what I want. Okay, that ain't how, that's not how it goes here. Mm -hmm. Shannon and I have a help meet relationship. I'm her help meet, and she's my help meet. It's like Bible shit, you know, Adam and Eve. Yes, Johnny Fappleseed. Thank you for that. I got that. Thank you. <laughs> That's what we got going. I joke about being a cuck, but that's, I'm not a cuck. I'm, I, I, I love my wife. I though. know, TJ. That's what I'm saying. Amazing, right? Pretty crazy. I just love my wife and I want her stable and happy. Well, you're gone. You can't be tortured anymore because you're gone. She's and, gone. and these people know that now, that you have been so pushed to the edge. By, I think it is mainly your mother. Oh, my God. I know there's other people in You guys just always want to look for someone to blame. Cannot take responsibility for shit. But I think the main culprit is your mother because she's trying to use some kind of color of law. Uh, this girl is my daughter and she's mentally unstable so she can get information from doctors, from the authorities, from all of these people in an official sense because she's your mother. And then she could throw all kinds of crazy shit like she's with an alcoholic, which is true, but I'm dry. I'm not drinking anymore. Uh, um, sorry, folks. But yeah, I've said all I needed to say. That's, you know, the main thing I, I could like, what else? I, I want to tell you what my direct experience with her is because everything else is hearsay and I would be a fucking hypocrite if I came here and started telling you, you know, third and fourth hand stories, nope. but I could tell you firsthand that I've seen the manipulation tactics, the isolation, and then trauma. Then explain it. She, she will, she will isolate and then cause trauma. Right. Yeah, Shannon is not in a good way right now. Like, at all. She never is. Uh, probably never will be. This last move was it for her. Mm -hmm. And, um... She can't deal with the stress anymore. Any knock at the door, anything like that, uh, makes her heart rate go to 160. She can't do it. The stress, it's over. She can't do it. That's why she's not going to be on YouTube at all anymore. At all. Right. She's done. How many times have we heard that before? Yeah, just chill them out. Yeah. She might, right. There, you're not going to hear her voice. She might do a coloring video or gaming, like playing GTA or whatever, maybe. Probably. that's She's going to do that. She's going to broadcast that stuff. But you won't hear Yeah, she likes archiving that type of stuff. I do too. It's cool. It's fun. It's like a vlog type of thing, but lots of people like watching it, so you get views. Um... Whatever. So, that's all right. So, you got the story, folks. The, this woman has... Has what? Like, Shannon has... You have two brothers and a sister, right, Shannon? And you are the what? 
You're the second oldest. Okay. So she wasn't even the oldest? Who okay. cares? Aaron like came first? Fucking raised okay. the kids? And then the boys after that. So... She's in a sense, I guess, the middle child. Uh, which is so stupid to talk about. This stuff, like, with... Your kids are your kids. If you have 20 or 1, they're your children. So it... No, you don't. You don't at all. And that's sick to do. It is sick to do. It gives so much damage when you play favorites on the children. Yeah. When you hate one and love the other, it, it tears the one hated. Yeah. I understand I understand why Cain did what he just did. got a sacrifice wrong. Sorry, Dad. What? What are they doing? Yeah. He didn't get the favor. Well, I don't know. Jesus. He literally cannot get a word in. She will not shut up. Whatever. Whatever. Ew. The problem is God knew that Cain was going to mingle with fallen angels. Gosh, I can't stand it when he burps like that. I mean, I don't like hearing anybody burp, but he fucking, like, pushes it out or something, and it's... Oh, God. Drives me nuts. <laughs> The problem is God knew that Cain was going to mingle with fallen angels. Oh, that's not his fault. It's what God made it to be. Well, I don't go there. God loves it still. He still marks it. It's a fucking Calvinist. Slow God. motion neck thing? You want me to slow Cain moment? Cain got stuck on here. Here, oh, hold that's on. That's not his fault. It's what God made it to be. Well... I don't go there. God loves it still. He still marks it. It's a fucking Calvinist. God. Cain got stuck on the earth while Abel went home. Fuck that shit. Well. Whatever. Anyway. When does he do it? What else could I say about Betty McGraw? I want to get it all out so that I never have to do another video well, about it. When does he do the neck thing? I was gonna yeah, slow it down. But... Yeah, it, when Shannon was staying with her mother in this time, and I was on the phone because I was on the phone with Shannon pretty much 14 hours a day. And uh, whenever she would hear any kind of inkling of joy in Shannon's room, she would come storming up the stairs and say, You're making too much goddamn noise. Shut the hell up. And then she would then proceed to sort of soften up and get a little bit nice. And then it she would get on Shannon for stupid shit that pretty much she had already done. Or bitching and moaning, why don't you have a job when she was, she was, where were you? You were doing the taxi, right? No. No. I was doing the home she, she was doing home health care. Shannon was doing home health care. So that was... was no, it wasn't good enough. You're not working enough hours. Well, <coughs> <coughs> she was working the hours that she was given. <coughs> and then it became, the house is a mess. Clean it. She was DJ said, Betty's biggest failure was Shanny. Damn. Y'all are fucking brutal today. Holy shit. Clean it perfectly. I love it. You know, she just did not want that daughter under her roof when she treated her like Joseph in the coat of many colors, you know, no. for real. That's what it was like. Shannon cried. She was crying phone folks going oh my god I have my parent again you know my mother is treating me so wonderful nice
But no, Betty, you see, this woman is so fucking sick. She knows how much emotion that Shannon has going on in her heart. She knows it. And she takes that satanically calculated. Oh, hi, but Chug. How she you takes doing? that emotion hey, Hunter. and she judos it back at her in a horrible satanic attack. That's what her mother does to her. And when she's in her physical presence, she gets physical. Shannon had a pair of headphones on and her mother came in about, I don't know, laundry or something like that. Or she may have been asking for money for something. Oh, I'm sure this is a completely made Oh, up my God. Out. We could discuss that, but I don't know, because that could really get her in trouble in Minnesota. What? What could get her in trouble? Let's just say to my industry people out there, she was asking for $70 quite a bit for whatever this color is. Green for green. That's it. I'll say that and I'll leave it go. So she smokes weed? And you have a problem with that? You. You had a problem with that. I was paying for her shit. But anyway, ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Yeah, I was paying for her shit. I'll let it go with that. Absolutely. I said, when she came, came storming into you saying, where's my fucking money? I said, I never want you to buy her any of that again. Because I'm not going to be used by this woman. Wow. Now, when she said she needed like 200 some or I can't remember how much it was for heating oil. Absolutely no problem. But my question is, Betty, how did you get your heating oil if it wasn't coming from Rev? How did you pay for that heating oil aside from that? Is it, is it Joe? Where are you getting the money for your heating oil if, it's, if it isn't coming from Rev? So I'm going to let that go too. Wow. I give in the abundance of giving as my father in heaven told me because especially when, when people are in need, praise Jesus that I can I can provide that. Okay? Reb is so humble, isn't he? Like not I'm just Jesus' banker. That's all I do. I, I funnel the, the, the funds where they should go when they're needed. I'm good at that. I think I might be a kingdom god god God's kingdom banker. Well, what? You know, Yeshua's bank, Yeshua, um, Yeshua's bank. What are you That's talking right. about? What the fuck is he talking about? I ain't at the right hand of the Father, Shannon. What the flip? Ah, you might be. Well, I thought you meant the literal seat because there's a literal seat next to Christ at his right hand. There is a literal seat, folks, because John, uh, John the Revelator, actually, the guy that wrote Revelation, asked Jesus, he said, is it possible, Father, for, for me and my brother Zebedee, the brother Zebedee, they called them the sons of thunder, John the Revelator and his brother, they called them the sons of thunder. Oh, my God. It, like. He just drags on and doesn't fucking make any actual points. Besides, it's Shani's right. Her mom is wrong. Fuck her mom. Riding on their horses or something. I don't know. That's I learned that from Chuck Missler. Hi, kicks. I don't know what that means. They must have been pretty manly dudes. But anyway, what? <laughs> They always depict John as just a senile, like a senile fucking old man. You have to imagine, like, 30-year-old John. He was a badass, apparently. You didn't want to fuck with John 
in them. But anyway, yeah, I'll move on. That's Bible shit. Uh, she's as abusive as they come. I, I've never, like, I, my grandmother was not nice to my mother. You know, but... Th this woman is... Yeah. That's interesting, some idiot. I just pulled it up, and that's weird. It doesn't normally say that. Like, it sh if she took it down, wouldn't it just be gone? Let me show you guys what pops up. Because I was going to cover Auntie Jessie's stream from yesterday. But this is, when I went to click on it, this is what it has. Video unavailable. This video is not available. I wonder what happened there. Did you get embarrassed, Jesse? Did you take it down? Wow. Well, you know what? She's live right now. Let's see. Bikers and sailors are decent people. Right? Yeah. I mean, well, I mean the bikers and sailors. Yeah, fuck those sailors, right? He's a sailor. Uh and um what how did your mother react when you had tattoos? Uh, when you came back from the navy with tattoos? Did she ask you if they will wash off? Oh no. No, my sister burst the bubble on that one. Oh, that's right. And she asked Is that going to wash off or is that permanent? Definitely not wash, wash. She didn't get, um, Corey, she didn't get three copyright strikes. She got three copyright claims. If she had gotten three copyright strikes, her channel would be gone. That would be it. You get, she'd be done. ...off at that point. And, you know, and, and, and his mom asked about... Mom oh, did you get a picture, Billy? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was fairly uneventful we watched it yesterday in uh discord actually together and um basically she did this whole thing drew a diagram and everything to show the difference between the differences between her and shanny so she's trying to prove how that they're different which is just it's hilarious and such a lulz cow thing to do to fucking, uh, you know, go on and try to prove that you're not like somebody else by doing this. Like, it's ridiculous. So, I think maybe she got a little bit embarrassed and uh, took it down for that reason. I mean, I would have been embarrassed, too. Because it, it wasn't a good look, the way she was acting. Mine as well. She said, now is that permanent or is that going to wash off of there? I said, this is my memorial tattoo for my dead niece, mother. She doesn't ask about my tattoo no more. No. I suspect she assumes any tattoo smaller than about this uh -huh. might be washable. Ah, uh, oh, we got it. We can't do beetles. Can't do beetles. Beetles, beetles gets us in trouble. All your aunts and uncles have tattoos except for a couple of your aunts and God, your aunts. this is There's fucking boring. We don't want to watch this. Bye, Jesse. Your content sucks. Fucking eat a bag of dicks. Every time Shannon finds a way to be happy, she steps in and slays her happiness in whatever way. Yeah, well, that's bullshit. We're going to have a good life. Christ has already showed me it, that oh. we are going to have a good life. Damn, that did not age well. Are you, Rev? Are you going to have a great life? Because it hasn't been that many years since this was uh, recorded and does not look like it's been going very well for you. I'm constantly being put down by her. Yes, but that's going to end. 
because I believe the Lord, and it's not going to be me, some guy that lives in PA. You know, some guy that lived in PA. It's not going to be me. It's going to be the Holy Spirit and Jesus himself that convicts her to the point where she can't breathe anymore. And the only way she's going to be able to get a breath. Bucky. I love you, Bucky. You're awesome. Um, thank you for the super chat. You said, I'd rather watch paint dry than Aunt Toe. <laughs> yeah, yesterday, like, I was going to cover it just because it was particularly uh, cringy. It really was. So um, I'm kind of disappointed that uh, we can't watch it. I can't show you guys. But, yeah, it was, uh, it was a doozy. Thank you, Bucky. Is to repent for what she's done. To Jesus. It's not going to be me at all. She's going to remember this video. She's going to see this video and she's going to remember it forever. forever. And when she's at the white throne judgment, because in her actions, she has rejected Jesus. In her actions. Hi, Amber. When she's at the white throne, because she can't claim Jesus no more. She is going to have to stand there and watch like a movie screen every single hurtful thing that she's ever done to you. You hear that, Betty? That's how it's going to be. You are going to have to stand before Jesus, who you say you love, and I give you that. And you are going to have to account for every idle, hurtful or slanderous word that you've ever said about your daughter. And we both know. Hi, Firefly. It's Shani's birthday today. Oh, that's many. During the big 4 -0. Your judgment day will be dire, Betty. Because I know. If I see you in heaven getting away with that shit scot-free, I have receipts. What? I've seen what you do to her. What? If you go to heaven and see her there, you have receipts. Like, you're going to tell God what to do, right? Oh, God, she doesn't belong here. I've got receipts for you. Isn't God all-knowing? You think he needs you to fucking tell him anything and make decisions? Are you that fucking egotistical as a Christian that you actually think you're deserving of that like what the fuck is wrong with you are you serious right now if i see you in heaven getting away with that shit scot-free i have receipts i've seen what you do to her hey freddie how are you doing but i know my judge is a just judge christ is only only christ is the just judge and when you get on that throne, when you get on that testifying block at the white throne judgment, your fate right now is vaporization. You will be annihilated. It's me and you, Betty, meeting at the pearly gates, one on one. We'll see who's going to make it in. I've got receipts. You've killed your own children. You have had abortions. Oh you you called your God. own children demons that you will Wow. Are you serious? Like, you're... That's disgusting, Rev. Why would you tell someone's personal fucking business like that? No wonder her parents that didn't want anything to do with you or her. ...be annihilated. Awesome. You've killed your own children. You have had abortions. You, you called your own children demons that you aborted to justify it. No, Betty McGraw, you are on the, you're on the judgment seat now. And you are found wanting. Do you know who heard that? Nebuchadnezzar's son before the, the throne, before Babylon fell. Many, 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 many tackle you, Farson. You have been, you have been weighed in the balances, and you are found wanting. And now your kingdom is given to the Persians. That's what was prophesied 
to Nebuchadnezzar's son, and guess what? It happened. The Persians took over. The Medo-Persian Empire took over from, from Nebuchadnezzar. My point is... I bet you're right, Mr. Uh, Unite for the Chill I I would be willing to bet that it's there that Shani just told him that, and it it's probably completely made up by her. Your position is Nebuchadnezzar. Because but also, going further with it, I mean, Rev and Shani are pro-abortion, so I don't know why Why would they be shaming someone for having an abortion? They're, they're pro-choice. I'm not going to claim you're a false Christian, okay? I, I don't do that. I'm not a judgmental asshole like that. I would oh, never yeah, judge I someone's Christianity. Oh, yeah, but Jesus do. also said that you judge a tree by its fruit, Betty. You judge a tree by its fruit. And your fruit is the most rotten in the garden. You know, you're supposed to be the, 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 the gardener, right? You take care of the plants. I would not want you gardening my garden, Betty. I would want your daughter doing it, definitely. She's loving She's kind. She's wonderful. She's, she's a beautiful soul that would never cross anyone for anything. What was he saying? Take care of the garden or whatever? You think Shani can fucking take care of a garden? Whether that be on earth or in heaven or any Like, never happen. Would never happen. Definitely. She's loving. Well, it may happen she's if Shani goes to hell. I could picture hell... You know, being a place for Shani where she has to work all day in the garden, that would be hell for her, probably. So, she's kind, she's wonderful. She's a beautiful soul that would never cross anyone for anything. Yeah. But this. You guys, Shani's such a pacifist. She passes her fist across Rev's face all the time. 2020 era say all the 2000s, with the internet is very hurtful. And sh the only time my beautiful, beautiful Eve, my help me channel, has ever gone off on anyone on here is because she's attacked. Oh, bullshit. When she attacks because she is BPD, you better believe she's going to defend herself in every way possible. And she will tell you the truth about this woman, about her mother, Betty. Yeah, I bet she'll tell the truth. Because my wife has suffered in silence long enough. My wife's heart is a lot like my mother's. Oh, here we go. A very kind would wouldn't hurt a flea wouldn't hurt a flea she fucking smacked Woman. you around motherly matronly what are you talking about nurturing do you know why because she saw a mother that was all of the things that that isn't and she wanted to give her children a mom And I'm telling, this is straight from the heart. If you can't tell, you get a body language person to analyze this video. Okay? I'm talking to the assholes out there that do review videos. And, and you, I am straight on focused telling you the truth. They'll tell you that. I have no forced mannerisms here or nothing. I'm telling you the fucking truth. That woman should not be trusted by anyone. Well, that might be the case. She destroyed you in your earthly vessel because she so sapped you from, from spiritual energy that you're, you're a husk. PJ, Shani's body language is fat and knees. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a new wineskin. Do you get that? Oh, God. There's going to be fresh wine pour, poured into your wineskin. And you're... 
I know that. That's when Christ comes to fill your cup up. I have no, I don't have that heart left. I can't even receive love anymore. Well, that, that satanic shit is rebuked. Right now, that, that serpent is squashed in the name of Jesus. Pop, pop, in the name of Jesus. This woman cannot touch you, nor will she anymore. Are you any of you familiar with uh, Tila Tequila lately? If you are, you might know what I was just doing. Pop, pop, in the name of Jesus. This satanic ritual abuse ends. It's over. Your coven, if you have one, I don't know. Though you strike me really weird. Wow. Like you're normal, right? Let's just say that anything that you would do with anybody that you got, that you do spiritual shit with, Betty, it's nullified now in the name of Jesus. Do you know that your daughter is sealed on the forehead? Did you know that? Did you see that, that bindi that's on her head right in the center? You're dealing with a judge of, of Yeshua. I mean, she was touched. She's got, she's got his fingerprint on her head. Yeah. Okay. Tell us about the warts, Shani. I just ask myself, what the hell or <laughs> what made you the way you are? Because it had to be pretty fucking bad. I don't know what. But he keeps on looking over at Shannon like, am I saying it right? The way that you treat people and Shannon has told me that and she would know because she's gone out with you to dinner. You're just as as hateful and insulting to people as you could possibly can be. Uh, you have to really I mean, if there's any sanity left in your mind and you haven't isolated yourself in your own fucking kingdom. In your mind, Betty, you need to take a look in the mirror. Do you understand? You need to take a look in the freaking mirror and understand that your actions, specifically to your daughter, have been satanic. Look into my eyes, man. I am fucking serious as shit. Whoa, back on up. Back on it. Do you understand that? You claim Yeshua. You claim Jesus Christ as your Savior. And your actions have been satanic. <laughs> Rabbit old bat says that uh, she wasn't touched by God, but she was sure struck by every branch of the ugly forest. <laughs> Rabbit old bat, thank you. Love that. <laughs> he burns in the lake of fire people that do that Betty do you get that lake there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth you need to repent before you croak you need to repent of this shit wow. or when you wake up before you croak so eloquent you will be on the left and not the right you will be with the goats and not the sheep by your actions because Christ is a just judge. There is no way he will allow someone that has not repented of the actions that you've done to your daughter. Do you get that? You will be out with the goats.
What, honey? I know that. You're you are you're a dove. You don't hurt people. Yeah, she's a dove, all right. So that's it, guys. I can't deal with it anymore. And 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 you know, and, my, and uh, Shannon said maybe you should do a video on this. And I I just said you know what I think I have to. Because like it or not. Betty McGraw, I am your son-in-law. Now, your daughter and I have a recognized civil union, legal. You call it that, civil union, whatever, okay? It's the equivalent of not having the fucking government paperwork. But guess what? That's going to happen too. We want the paperwork. I want the paperwork. No prenup, none of that shit. Just straight up, I want Shannon to have my last name. Because that last name, she don't want to see that last name anymore. The one she has now. Am I right, babe? Am I right? You don't want to see that name no more. You don't want to be a Dornbush. Right. And you know what? I could just clone this video and put Chris Dornbush in there. The, the same shit I'm saying about her, you need to repent too, dude. Holy shit. You will have the same fate as Betty if you don't repent of what you did to her. And that's the God's honest truth. Folks, I want, I want, go for it. Geek Room or whoever the flip. If you guys want to get an expert on fucking body language and analyze this video. They'll tell you this is a guy that's definitely telling the truth. And he's seen this shit. And he is laying it out for you. He has a good way of laying shit out. That's what they'll say. All right. No bullshit, just here it is. The fact of the matter is that Betty McGraw should have been in a prison for the wow. stuff that she's done to her daughter, physical and emotional abuse, both. Physical too. How many of you, got, how many of you guys out there that have children? How many of you guys out there that have children would take a toddler and, and deliberately put their shoulder out of joint. How many of you out there would do that? I would reckon to guess probably zero. We're dealing with a psychologically abusive and physically abusive woman who threatens her own children and families. Where is any Because she told the that? boys that she was going to murder them too. At all. At Christmas. Folks. Oh yeah, you're definitely a Christian, Betty. Yeah, you're telling your you're gonna you're telling your grandchildren that you're gonna kill them on Christmas, and Bullshit. you're a Christian. I do not believe that for one fucking second. Um, Firefly, I'm not sure what you're doing right now, but what you just said is complete bullshit. Like complete bullshit. So I'm not sure where you're, you know, getting your information from, but um, it's incorrect. That's why Jesus Christ said that you judge a tree by its fruit, because you could say all day long, I believe in Jesus and your actions say that you do not believe in Jesus, Betty. Do you get that? Your daughter psychologically damaged. Why aren't you there for her? That's right. Jesus would be there for her, for his daughter, if he ever had one, if she had emotional problems. Betty, do you get that? So this is JWE Revelation News saying to Betty McGraw that you better repent.
you absolutely need to repent because you are found you are weighed in the balance well wonder like do you still have this same passion about uh, that you have physically assaulted a child i mean by that logic don't you deserve the lake of fire as well So why don't you, you know, I, every once in a while I see these videos pop up where you do, you do audio and, and you talk about stuff. How about you be honest for once, Betty? If you want to make a response video to this, that's cool. Whatever. Why don't you be honest for once and admit that you have abused your daughter? Because I'm going to tell you that's the first step to Christ stepping forward to you and saying okay now why wow, got chills there man whoa that's when christ is going to be able to step forward in your life and go okay you're now starting to be truthful i can work with that and by the end of this process if you would do that and admit these things that you've done you can start that's when jesus can come in and start healing all of this do you get it? But there's going to be no, absolutely no reconciliation. There's going to be absolutely no uh, forgiveness from Christ if you do not admit your wrongdoings, which you know are legion, tons of wrongdoings. But Christ can take those people and mold them into beautiful people. Like he did with Shannon, like... No, I knew that was what you were about to say, and that is not... You're telling me that you really think that Shanny has been molded into this, you know, amazing, uh, faithful Christian? No. Not even a little bit. He did with so me, like he's finger, done with like, countless billions of people over the years. Christ. But you first have to admit that you have done these things. So that's it, guys. I want, I just want, I'm calling on her if she has the balls, you know, if she has the intestinal fortitude. To be a real mother for once and admit what you've done. But I'll probably be waiting for her until hell freezes over for that. So, peace out. Wow. Oh, what is this? Well, I guess we'll watch this. It's a short one. I don't know what this is. It just automatically went to it next. Now I'm curious because it looks like he's drinking alcohol. I'm assuming it's not. All right, I'll, I'll try this again. Hi. Hi. Uh, the title of the video, I won't go into it. Teed. Oh my God. Shani no longer wants to do any social media. <clears throat> So you, you, the peanut gallery, the harassers, the criminals. I always wondered why. Wait, what's wrong? Is the internet messing up? Do I need to, if it's messing up, let me know and I'll end the stream. I don't want, like, if it's really acting up. I, someone on the internet used to say that these people are like terrorists that stalk you. But it's true, they are. They, they have uh, so negatively impacted my wife's uh, opinion of social media. And um, YouTube does nothing about it. They, they put all these fancy things like, oh yeah, we got terms of service now that's super, super duper. And people, if you get harassed, uh, oh, you got tools to help you. No, you don't. You're lying sacks of shit, YouTube. You're not, you don't have any help. 
these people are allowed to make false reports to actually impact people's lives. Well, I'll tell you, you, I, you, you could be impacted too, if you know what I mean, bro. There's going to be some impact, I can tell you. If this shit keeps up, I swear to God. <laughs> okay? Okay. Uh, fact of the matter is, you lost. I told you you already lost, okay? But the fact of the matter is, is that my wife is so disillusioned by everybody and everything having to do with social media that she shanty for christ the page itself you could say her video youtube channel is gone she's done uh i don't know about facebook whatever twitter i don't know maybe she'll fucking lurk there i don't know but um as far as her wanting to have anything to do with social media no She's gone. So rest in peace, Shady, Shady for Christ, because the online persona, whatever you want to call it, the handle, the person behind the account is going to no longer be making content. So that's your breaking news. Now go gossip about it, you fucking assholes. Wow. He's so rude. So rude. Um... All right, we're going to change it up for a minute. We could come back to Rev and Shani later, or if they go live, obviously. Um, but I do have a couple of uh, my favorite the arrest videos. I mean, I know that they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I fucking love watching them. And they're going to probably be a, uh, a part of a lot of my streams so hopefully you guys like that as well um i'm not going to try to do just streams of just that but um yeah i think it's fun to watch them here and there and uh let me show you guys this one that is particularly crazy Alpha 224 Flagler, 1065, uh, 1050 on that vehicle. Perfect. It's going to be 100. Medium. Westbound Medium at Memorial Priority Medical. Alert. It's Florida tag. Ro Correction. Texas tag. Romeo Sierra Yankee 0297. RSY 0297. It's a black Mercedes. Signal 12. Perfect. Wow. You can tell this person is all over the road. All over. And find her on the list of years. Turning into the rest of them. 2003. Dispatch has been. 14 flag. Can you show me out with an L25, please? 10. Yeah. Alpha 224 flag. Michael, would you shut up? I'm going to block you. You come in here, you're trying to steal my shine. Not cool. The uh, vehicle's still rolling. Oh, chaser. Can you go ahead and give us 1033 till further? Stop the vehicle, pull over, do it now. Oh my god, what is he doing? Dispatch has been updated. 224, we got that vehicle stopped. It's a nice car, I'll say that. Too bad that guy's driving it, it's probably not going to stay nice for very long. What are you doing? What? We've had our lights and sirens on since I-95 and you've taken this long to pull over. Any reason? 
ครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับ I don't know about you guys, but I literally could not hear. I couldn't make out what he was saying. Like it just sounded like. Bah, 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 bah. I don't think he was making sense. Cut the vehicle off. Shut your vehicle off for me. Firefly, like I, I don't understand why you're doing this. I really don't. Like, I'm trying to give you the opportunity to be in the chat. Uh, you know, I'm letting you uh, voice your opinion about things, even though it's uh, be you've been a little disrespectful, but it's been going both ways. Um, and you guys are adults. So, yeah, I try to stay out of drama. That's what I try to do. And let you guys figure it out. You're fucking grown ass women. I don't need to come in and play referee to everybody all the time. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Shut your vehicle off. Turn the car off. It is a very simple thing I'm asking you to do. Let me see your keys. Let me hand me your keys. No. Hand me your keys. No. Okay. Step out of the vehicle for me. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle for me. Oh my god. I thought he was about to throw up. Did you hear that? Maybe it was just a burp, but I really thought he was about to spew chunks all over the frickin' place. Come on out, bud. You okay? I'm still docking the office because I haven't had You're good. Had. Come on. Oh, God. Look at him go. <coughs> shit this guy is by far one of the drunkest people i've seen driving in one of these like a lot of them make fools of this. this guy could have fucking killed himself for sure for sure what's up what what's going on i i i, I don't know well i asked you if you were all right you said no Correct. So what's going on? Why aren't you okay? Uh. <clears throat> Why aren't you okay? What's going on? on. So what's go what's what's going on with you, Mike? Because uh -huh. you're you're driving all over the road, okay? You ran off the road a couple times, all right? That's fine. You about, well, no, it's not fine. That's why you're being stopped. And then we had our lights and sirens on behind you. You weren't stopping for us. I want to see them make him walk a straight line. I really do. Oh, hi, Melly. How are you doing, Melly? Um, by the way, Melly, I got your um, message the other day, and I haven't had a chance to um, message you back yet, but. I really appreciate what you said, and it really mean, means a lot to me. So thank you for that. Thank you for taking the time to do that, and uh, I really appreciate it. So, like, what's what's going on? 
I, 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 I don't know what you say, when you say things are not of. Well, we got an ambulance company to check on you, man. Well, you're not. I'm not being an ambulance. You are. Uh oh, he's getting mad now. Okay. Well. Now Oh shit, now he's morphed into angry drunk. He went from shit face drunk to angry drunk. Now he's wanting to fight them. Yeah. All right. Not All right. a good idea, Bye. brother. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just, yep. Absolutely. Took him showing his ass. I'm an, I'm an. Look at me, shit. Arrest for driving under the influence. Great. You're. He's crying no, now. He went from mad to it's sad. Sunday. He went from mad to... Oh, damn, they got him in a little thing, wheeling him around like he's in a... That's hilarious. My God. But one of the drunkest, by far one of the drunkest people I've seen. Um, All right, let's see. What is the next one that I'm going to play for you guys? Let's see this one. Actually, I haven't seen this one yet. So, it might be good, it might be bad. I got a baby up. We're gonna find out together. Good lord, she's already screeching. Um, this channel is Police Insider. Uh, and I'm gonna drop the link in the chat. And this is from three days ago, so it looks like it's new. Pregnant, get in the car. She's pregnant, I'm sure the On May 17th, 2023. Officers were dispatched in reference to a fight at a bar. They're gonna hurt me. Okay. Stay right my kid. Stay right there. They're gonna hurt me in my head. Okay, stay right no, stay right there. No. Please. Stay right there. What in the hell? Nothing. Okay, relax. Sir. Calm down. Maybe chase me right there with someone else. Hey, stay right Look. there. Stay right there. I'm trying to talk to her. I need you to stay right there. Go lean on the wall. No, go lean up there. I'm not stupid. I'm 48. Hey, go stay right there. What is going on? This woman is out of breath and, like, is she just drunk or? I guess they were fighting for a while because she's winded. Quit moving around. Okay. I gotta pass out first. Stop. No, stop. You're not gonna go inside. They gave me Come fentanyl. On. Come on. What? Come on. You're not going in. They gave me fentanyl. Come on. They said that the dirty grenade. What? Just, What's your name? Yesenia. Yesenia what? Well, they thought it was Martina. No. Oh, oh she, she did. Stay right there. You don't... She pissed herself. Oh no. I hope you're not telling the truth, Pulse. I, Maybe I you're so close. What's your Please. last name? Hernandez, they're actually like it's me. 36 Carl's dead, Yusinia Hernandez. Please, they say you're gonna No, you're gonna make it. They told me that to swim on both cuff. Okay, so quit getting closer to me. Stay right there. <laughs> no. <laughs> that cop said, quit getting closer to me. Like, fucking back off a little bit. Quit getting closer to they me. They seen it. You can't shoot me, please. I'm not gonna shoot you. Is what? my gun out? It don't matter, you'll hit me. No, I'm you'll not. You'll hit me with a saw. Stop, stay right there. Right there. Go get that, please! Back up. Hey. I'll tell you too many. Hold on just a second, okay? I'll give you hey, 10,000. Go talk to that officer right there. No, I have time. What? Quit All getting right. so close to me. She's out of her mind hey, for stop. sure. Go over there. No! Go talk to Officer Samaniego right there. Samaniego, no! Yes, go talk to her right now. They were the ones saying shit about you guys. Quit getting closer to me. Back okay. up. Okay, this is definitely not just alcohol. Uh, I'm pretty sure. This this is gonna be something other than just booze. Hey, well, don't shoot me. They said that y'all. Wait, getting closer to me. Help. Okay, oh, shut up. I didn't call you. It's code four. Y'all can turn it down. Go talk to Officer Samaniego. Come on. They go over there and talk to her. Yes, me. Hey, go talk to her and explain what's going on while I talk to them. They to me, Salvas. Go talk to her while I'm gonna talk to them. Go talk to her. They're so sad. Go talk yes, to her. Can you come over here? Please. You don't like me. Bro, come on. Come 10, over here. Come talk. I'll show you. I'm not. We don't know where she came from. Okay. She just walked in the bar and that's how she was. It's exactly how she is right now. Okay, don't hurt me. No! Hey, go. She hurt go. me because of her boyfriend. Hey, back up. I didn't date her back boyfriend. Up. Back up. I back didn't up. date him, sir. Back up. Uh -oh. They were going to call the real. Oh, God. Here we go. 
it's about to get crazy. Or is she at the fair? Is that what they're at? Like the fairgrounds? It looks like there were like rides behind her and shit. You're not cool unless you pee your pants. Oh <laughs> God. What is that from? What movie is that from? You're not cool if you don't pee your pants. I recognize that from a movie. Like that's the rules, but the they were like, you don't pee your pants? Was it Big Daddy? Rev just started a video. Okay, I'm going. Let me pull it up, guys. We got Rev Live Live. Here we go. Goddess oh, Chinese. We got Shani. Uh, beautiful, like, combo platter of Chinese. So that's what we're God doing. Damn, she looks I'm bigger than before. What we're doing, so. This bitch has gained weight. We'll do that. And thank you to the person that gave it to us. We very much appreciate it. Very I knew much. somebody was going to send it to him. Told and, ya. Uh, this is going to be really boring if my wife doesn't say anything, though. So. I, I was waiting for you to do your introduction. Oh, there. okay. Gotcha. Mm. Sweet. Yeah. Yummy Chinese. Thank you, oh, Jesus. Thank you. This looks so good. Yeah, good. I got an idea of who gave him that, me. by the way. I'm not going to say, but I got an idea. We have a very bad filming situation. I'm a tease. I'm not going to tell you. But this is poor live streaming. Mm-hmm. If we had a nice setup and everything, it would mean we have money. Which we don't. And watermelon is staring at us. Yeah, of course you will. Yeah, the cat's probably fucking starving, fat ass. Watermelon always wants the people food. Mm -hmm. Because y'all don't feed them enough. And it's like, no girl. This is people food. You wouldn't like it. No. Oh, I'm sure they would like it. There's literally nothing here she'd like. Mm -mm. She likes meat. That good stuff. Maybe the shrimp. Um. Oh, Shanny. Um. Bread, though. I'm noticing mm -hmm. your arms, Shanny. I don't think she'd like the bread. Shanny, it hasn't been that long. You mean to tell me you don't have any marks on your arms? No bandages. Nothing. It really is. No band aids. Mm. Nothing. No. Um, it's a good flavor. Mm -hmm. Lo mein good. The lo mein is great. It sure did heal yeah. fast, didn't it? I'm just devouring general so. I have general sows too. Turn yes, this is now. This is live right now. General sows and the shrimpy poos. Yeah. Is that pork lo mein? Yes, it's pork. Okay. I love Chinese pork. Me too. Mm. I like the way they roast it. It's got a spice to it. Yeah. The pork. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Don't call me when I'm on. Dude. <laughs> Look at this fucking bitch. I'm doing a live stream. I can't talk to you in the live stream. Thank you. Oh my god. Turn the fucking Sorry thing off. That. <laughs> Listen, if you can't hear us or whatever, and that's why you're doing that, nothing I can do about oh, it. Oh, thank you, Stacy. Placement. I try to bring it to you quickly oh, if I can. Phone. It's like maybe we should have went out in the kitchen. Yeah, Sharon, I love tiramisu. I bet we we can. Well, well, let me check. Let me check how we sound. We're doing what we can, man. Yeah. 
there's no place in this place that's good for <coughs> streaming or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Sound is off. We're muted. Oh, thank you, Rabbit Old Bat. We're muted. Is that what it said? You said they may have had food bought for them, but we can all buy it for ourselves. I hope you choke on a crab ragoon. <laughs> no, we're not. Thank you, we're Rabbit Old Bat. You, you might be thinking we're muted because this phone is a piece of crap, but I can't do anything about that. Hmm. <sighs> I hear him fine. Here, they need to the get their phone. get your ears checked. I'll put it on my stand. Right here. Can't even eat. No. There you go. <coughs> Yikes. Are we muted? Can you hear us? I thought you were done with social media. That didn't last long. I don't think we're Did you get your drugs? If we were muted, so you're not in withdrawal anymore? The microphone is Hey, not. Mandy. How are you doing, Mandalorian? There. There we go. The microphone isn't stricken out, so. It doesn't look like we're muted. You're not muted. God. It'd be nice if we gave like a green bar or something. So you, yeah. So it, you can hear it. It doesn't give that. Hmm. Should have went out and get them. Well, I mean. You're not going to get both of us in that shot. It's just not going to happen. Dude. Let me do my thing. I mean, okay. Let me check this. That's turning the mic off. Oh, thank you, Billy. You said I'm they actually look, still look miserable. I love this. I think they're streaming was a condition of getting the food. I think you're right, Billy. I think you're right. Thank you, Billy. That's Ew. Do I look 40? Mm. I don't think you do. I don't but I am 40, 40. But you look fatty. <laughs> that was a really bad joke. I hope it's not mute. Uh, Am I mute? Trying to think of something funny. Tell me if I'm mute. You're Can not you muted. No one's saying anything. I don't think we're muted, man. Not muted. Okay, good. Thank you. There we go. I'm not muted, baby. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Let me fix this. My God, woman, just put it somewhere. For fuck's sake. There we go. Now it just has rev in it. They can hear me. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> thanks for this food though yeah thank you i was actually really hungry so yeah we have to thank no we were told this yeah we are here to thank carrie's mom <coughs> yeah i mean honestly i don't understand why we have to thank carrie's mom she's a religious zealot who beat up on her daughter when she had her period right and made her feel awful for going through puberty so i don't i don't know why you want to thank carrie's mom but thank you carrie's mom yeah thanks carrie's mom you know i guess you were in town and you just felt it was the right thing to do so mm -hmm. I see the fucking psychopath stalker. Is that it again? Keep giving him your money. 
That makes you look so cool. Like, really cool. 26 people for a mukbang, okay. Regarding your daughter, though, like, I, I think you should just let her do her thing. Mm -hmm. And, um... Who the fuck are you talking to? Let her be the spoiled brat she wants to be. Yeah. Who are you talking to? Let her blossom into a woman where she doesn't feel the need to attack people. Blossom into a woman? Because, you know, Carrie attacked a lot of people in her life. It was a pretty dramatic. Yeah, dramatic I've attacked movie. so it many really people, you guys. Mm hmm. I can't use my chopstick. Well, guess what? Are you, you know what I can do? I think so. I can get fucking uh, Chinese yeah, food he's any day of the week. I don't I'm have to fucking 40. beg for it for people on the old. internet. I'm old. And my husband, you know, he has one of those ah, things called a fucking a job. So I think that we're doing pretty good. But keep bringing me up. Who I'm glad that phone? I fucking live rent free in these people's heads. It's amazing. May your curse be reckoned to Trump supporters. Don't forget, everybody, it's Shani's birthday, and if you really want to show her how you feel, you, you could always, you know, yeah, I guess so. That's give me birthday money. We can pretend it's my birthday, Instagram too. Instagram doesn't even allow landscapes. Well, the thing is, with Instagram, also, you can't do it on your computer. <laughs> Let's trigger the fuck out of Shani. <laughs> I've tried, man. Hey, Michael, on the way on home... Get me setting? a birthday no cake live and some ice on your, cream. On your computer, I've tried. Can you set up Instagram with OBS? I'm craving a birthday cake, no. I think, Michael. Okay. I think so. Well, you mean this is a mukbang. We're stuffing our face and that's what you're supposed to do. Facebook. Go fake another sewer oh, slider, you, you fucking can. stupid Yeah, you can bitch. OBS Facebook. Okay. Using fucking suicide to fucking get uh, shit on the internet and fucking get sympathy? You're fucking sick. Yes, watermelon? Thank you, rabbit old bat. You Happy birthday, bitch! Aw, oh, thank you, Pulse. I, I appreciate that. Because I can't eat this rice. It's gonna meat. go towards my uh, birthday cake tonight. I can't. Really good though. He's mm -hmm. losing his chopstick skills. No. If I Ugh, had a normal God, person, look at her. Looking like a fucking human being. Mm hmm. Then looking like I a fucking straight up pig. I could never. Eat like, she legit chopstick. looks like a hog right now. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see she's still picking at that thing on her boob. If you would it's like nasty. to donate for us birthday kids. Birthday kids, yeah. You can go to PayPal at Rev Dude. Yeah. Or Or you, you can just give it app, to me. <laughs> and it's cash tag. ASMR Gaming, all caps. Or you can go to um, Venmo. Boo, I do have Cash App. Michael, can you give Jason the Cash App info? E-G-R-O-F-F. -E -F. That's our Venmo. And that's all of it. Yep. It would be nice if someone did that. That would be awesome. Mm-mm. Because I don't usually get birthday gifts. And I never really have. Yeah. No, moms don't get gifts. They give them. No. Right, yeah. Moms don't. No. What did you get your kids for their birthday this year, um, Shani? Even when I was Did you bake girl, them a cake? My parents didn't really do much for my birthday. It was always, oh, I'm sorry, Shannon. 
Well, you basically not, followed not in their footsteps then because that's exactly what you've done to your kids. Thank you, Billy, for the super chat. Happy unbirthday, Carrie. I hope you get your cake. Oh, I'm getting my cake. That's this happening. Pork fried rice is extremely so That's food. happening. And it's going to be really good. I'm sorry. Maybe it's my taste buds. It could be COVID. It could be my taste buds. Like, things don't taste as good as they used to with me. Uh -huh. I definitely can't smell like things that are like really strong, like ammonia. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that why you don't no. smell your own or, stank or ass? Then I can't smell is that it what it is? Because you don't have okay. fucking a sense it's of smell. Killed. That makes sense. My makes more sense receptors. now. Isn't that weird? Just because you can't it's smell doesn't mean the rest of us can't. Wash it's your ass. Mm hmm. <clears throat> that's not weird conspiracy stuff or anything. That's that's a thing. No. God, don't you wish you had some soda? I do wish I had soda. I'm drinking tea though. Mm -hmm. Little tea bag. I'm drinking tap water. And water. I got a tea bag for you. <laughs> 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 probably going to get cancer from drinking the tap water this much. We can only hope. Probably. Both but, probably but, but see, people eating fish in the Pacific Ocean is going to get cancer soon because Fukushima is Oh, thank you, Calligraphy Fairy. Nuclear Happy birthday, water Shani. The yeah, and they're just like, I know oh, it's not much, idea. but I want you to enjoy some Chinese food on me. Ocean. Take care, love. Thank you, Calligraphy Fairy. I mean, really, what what do you do, though? That's the thing. What would be the... <laughs> TJ! Like, are you going to get big vats and fill it with radio? Uh, I say, this is what you do. What do you do? You take a spaceship, you fill it up with all that water, and you shove it up in space and mm. spray it toward the sun. Wait a minute. With all of the SpaceX explosions... I really think that's a bad idea. If that explodes on the, oh my God, well, radioactive water everywhere into the atmosphere. Oh my God. Whoa, you just gave the New World Order a really good idea. Listen to her. Do that. <laughs> Put the Fukushima water on a SpaceX rocket and see what happens, folks. That's some Joker stuff. That, that's some serious, you, you, that's evil. <laughs> fat Yoshi and Fat Teddy no, no. love Fat Shandy. Happy but birthday. No, mm -hmm. If it went up there in the way that you would Thank want you, it to. Thank you, TJ. Mm -hmm. That's actually a good idea. Send it out. It's better than keeping it here on Earth. And we pollute, now we're polluting the universe. Mm -hmm. We didn't just pollute the planet. Ooh, ooh. Thank the you, planet. Boo, for the cash app. So we're going to be cancer of the that. universe, too? Isn't that great? You know? Awesome. That works for me. My agent Smith called us a virus. It's pretty it's accurate. It's the smell. Mm -hmm. There is such, such a thing. thing. <laughs> it's the smell. I love the way he says that. Me and my buddies used to joke about that. It's the smell. The, the way he acts that part so well. He does. Really good. You go even. Who did drag? He's done drag. In that Priscilla Queen of the Isaac? Hmm? I didn't know that. Isaac. His name is um his name is Hugo Weaving.
eat that much. That's why you don't make a good muffin. Mm-mm. Because you can't eat them. You have, like, <clears throat> half your portion. You're done. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, be a mukbainer. Be a mukbainer. It's like, but I, I can't shove a bunch of food in my mouth at once. Holy shit. And finish the plate. My Chris Farley is getting stuck right in this region, right here. Can you guys hear me? I also don't like that too full feeling, you know? Yeah. No, I'm doing this for the video, really. I would probably have stopped midway, too, and had a little bit more in, like, an hour. I'm doing this for the video. You're a good boy. It's a mukbang. It is a mukbang. A mukbang. A muk a and Carrie's mom was really nice. Mm-hmm. Carrie's mom was, like, super Christian-y. Here's food. So, <laughs> and she's like, all I need is a mukbang. That's all I need, you know? And I'm like, look, Carrie's mom, your daughter, I don't know what's going on with that. But you're cool. Yeah. And she said, I don't know either. She went to this, you know... The school dance covered in pig blood. I couldn't do anything about it. Is this the best you, know you the can do? Is. She goes to the right. She goes to the thing and she gets the pig blood poured on her. But and then Carrie I'm blows the Carrie's fucking mom, place you know, up and kills they everyone. Pig blood in their house and they just, she just poured it on herself and went to the. Do they not know what happens in that movie? It's up to her. It's up to Carrie. Have you she read the book? Be like Lady Gaga when she wore that meat suit. What? God, y'all are fucking dumb. So bad. Well, it wasn't rotten meat, right? It was fresh meat. Right? No, it was fresh meat, but still, it had to smell. It smell like meat. Ugh. <laughs> it smell, smell like of a cat piss and spices, and it's maybe? Like putrefying all through the night. Isn't that what you said, Rev? Cat I piss and spices. They, have, they still have the meat soup, but it's like jerky now. This is Lady Gaga's, you know, Mitsu. Yeah, it's jerky it now, but... Plug it up! Do you Plug know it who would, up. <laughs> There are so many guys who would pay to eat that jerky. I don't think Lady Gaga was ever that hot, man. Oh, she was kind of hot when she was, like... You showed me that video of her when she was, like, in the Before club. she was famous? Before she was famous. She was kind of hot then. She kind of looked hot to me. Man. I've never found her attractive. It's like... Hey, Corey, it's fine. Like the the more that they right. shout There's me the out, the better my cha my channel yeah, you does. Like the weird, the weird is cool. So let them do it. But I don't know. I just don't know. Um, rabbit all bad. Thank you for the super chat. You said I'm taking notes so I can be funnier. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> the famous Lady Gaga. I'm like, eh. Eh. so whoever cool. sent it to them. Thanks for the shout out. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. that. We got how many people? 223 people in here, and yes, Shani's got 21. <laughs> Interesting. I know enough about her stuff to talk about it a little bit. Lady Gaga? Yeah. I had a friend that was massively into her. I loved Lady Gaga. Most people did, man. She was the thing. She's still cool and everything, but... She still is, man. She's very proper now. She got to sing with the legendary Tony Bennett. That's awesome. I got you under my skin. Tony Bennett. That was Rest so in peace, cute. Tony. Rest in peace, rip Tony Bennett. Oh, yeah, and then, and then Yoshi makes an appearance. Yoshi. I'm using the cup, man. Yoshi makes an appearance. Well, there you go. Now Yoshi, you know who sent it. Way, yo. Absolutely. I use that's that's the only cup I use really. I use the reason But they don't give Shani money? Never. They wouldn't enable these fucking drug addict fucking losers. Child abusers? Mm. No. Never. Don't you know they do it all for the kids? You did it, you did it babe. Right. How pathetic do you have to be after you and tried to expose you. this woman for fucking for years and you guys are the one yeah. putting money in her pocket? That's <laughs> fucking cringy as fuck. 
But we're going to say God bless you. Yes, I've been waiting on this Chinese for about two months. Something well, like that. Two months. Whatever. Yeah, that's what's happened when you sit on your ass and don't have a job. You don't fucking get to eat Chinese food all that much. He does. And he loved you. It was your birthday. It's late, yes. He does love me. We need Shani to have her Chinese. Because heaven will be happy when Shani's happy. (laughs) I mean that, though. He watches over you. Then why the fuck is her life such a fucking mess? When your mother and father forsake you, mm-hmm. I will raise you up. I'll lift you up. That's right. And this is what it looks like to be raised I'm up? Forsaken. I was forsaken. So Sitting God on a fucking piss-stained couch, and begging father. for money mm-hmm. on the internet every day? That's and God you lifting listen, you up? Like, whenever I ask something, it's Get the not, fuck out of here. It doesn't take that long to get it. Empty. Mukbang king, man. Oh. That was nice. I haven't been filled like Mr. that. Mr. Jason Avocado. Yeah. It's not as good as your food, though. I do. I miss your food. That was, oh. I miss my food, too. People will see back from that time, though. It did not take long. I was doing mukbangs, and I put on probably 20, 30 pounds like that. And it was visible. It was like, oh, I had a gut. I know. Now all we're doing lately is losing weight. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's called the, the forced government diet. I, I call it the intermittent fasting diet. That's actually, it's really good for you. Though. I know. Eating that way is really, really good for you. Okay. I, I like eating that way. I prefer it. Okay. Here we go. Fortune cookies are fun, always. Let's we'll see what we got. You can glue a fork and fork for them and eat it. <laughs> okay. So my fortune cookie says. You will be fortunate if you accept the next proposition you hear. <laughs> what? Oh my God. What's my next proposition? If somebody typed in the chat, if they suggest something, you'll be blessed with it, apparently. I guess <laughs> so. <laughs> Your and, next- and then learn Chinese to inhabit Jew. Okay. It's Jew. J U. J U. Jew. Jew. To inhabit. Oh, but. I Jew here. <clears throat> All right. So if you if you say you like you're living, is it like I'm Jewing? What? Anyway. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Shani. Do it. I don't know. Say it. Jew. Keep pushing it. Yeah. Okay. It's just, it's it's a word. Okay. It's a, so, a word. Thanks. Sing and genius. rejoice. Fortune is smiling on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, I love you, Jesus. I'd sing I love you, Jesus. You know? I love you, Jesus. You got a better voice, so that, that'll work. <laughs> <clears throat> so learn Chinese. Uh, class. Key? Key? Class? Key? <laughs> yeah, key. And that's the word for class. So we're Jewing in the key. Living in class. Yeah. No, not really. No. More like white trash class. Yeah. 
Hi, watermelon. White trash is too fucking high class for you. You want to show the watermelon? You nasty bitch. Oh, come here, baby. No, she ran. Yeah, she don't want that. She just smart cat. Smart cat. Ooh, that reminds me. I know what I want to show you guys after they're done, which I'm sure will be soon. All right. So apparently we have fortune coming our way. Yeah. That's a joke. Kind of hard to believe when, you know, you live barely on anything. I know, Omni, isn't it? Like, wow. So fucking cool. So, uh, like, that's what you have to do? Again, I want to thank Carrie's mom. But the last thing I wanted to say, Shani, was I don't understand why Carrie, you know, because she, she's got her life. She's got her thing. I don't understand why she can't be as cool as uh, Teddy Bear and Jules. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, she needs they're to learn so from those cool. Two individuals how to be cool. Wow, you guys are pressed you as learn fuck. From Yoshi. Okay? <laughs> learn from Yoshi, Carrie. <laughs> and Teddy Bear, too. If I had a Teddy Bear, I don't have a Teddy Bear. We have a Pikachu. We have a stuffed Pikachu plushie that Will got his mom. But Gavin that dude took is over. fucking obsessed yeah, with me. Yeah, it's his now. It like, I think his, he wants to wear my fucking so skin. Nice it's fucking creepy. But I just want, I just. I, really, I'm trying to help you, Carrie. If if you if you oh fucking watch suck Teddy a Bear's dick channel and watch Jules, watch the way that Jules does stuff. You're gonna be getting somewhere. No, oh, I'll doing. be losing you know views. Is what will happen? Premium content. I want to have views and people that think Only that I'm best, entertaining. Like world. So I think content, I'm gonna stick okay? with the blueprint I have. Stun it's not really stuff. working for Jules. Jules she streamed like Bear. one time in the last month. Out. And Nobody it was about me, about and that's probably that. the They're reason the she got as many views about. as she did. Okay. All right. Be like Pikachu. You see? He's cute. He is very cute. He's a cute Pikachu. He loves everybody. And he only cuddles Gavin. Yeah. See, he, well, what, he what Jules cuddles. doesn't get is that he I don't have to, like, pull Gavin fucking stunts like that he to does. get people to watch my content. <laughs> They just watch it. I don't have to fucking pay Shani and, you know and I, do some I kind go, of fucking dumb bullshit to try to get people Before I go, guys, interested. I'm going like, to put our... Uh, it's really it's sad, Shani's actually. Birthday, so if you want to do something cool for us, we love you. You're cool. We love you very much. I'm going to put my things in here. My God, it's like I got... There's like three different things I have to put in now. Uh, and can I remember them all? Yeah. Well, I love it, Billy. Thank you for the super chat. I mean, sorry, all they're it's, doing it's, is it's making themselves a little bit longer look because I'm not that. Like, literally, I they don't really get it. Hate tight, I hate touchscreen devices. I really do. I don't enjoy them. i rather have a keyboard... Oh, <laughs> fuck off, Toots. Whoever, block that person. You're not I welcome here. Like, Bye. Like, William is amazing. How fast he types on, on a phone. It's insane. It's a kid thing. I know. He's amazing. All right, there's all of our... Any one of those three you want to help us out, I love you. Thank you so much for the Chinese food. It was really good. Appreciated. God bless you all. I might come and talk about something today, maybe. I don't know. Peace Probably out. Probably not, because you're a fucking lazy piece of shit. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Omni. Stay pressed, rats. Yes. Oh, my God. Like, they are fucking ridiculous. Oh, TJ, thank you for the super chat. Internet trolling is bat back-breaking work. Ask Jules. Yeah. Jules can't even fucking figure out how to get a swing to work, apparently, without hurting herself. Um, but why would I follow what Jules or anyone else is doing with their channel? 
my channel is doing better than the rest of their channels. I'm getting more views than they get. And I don't have to pay Shani to go talk about any of them to get those views. In fact, 99% of the time, I don't even fucking mention your names. That's how little I fucking give a shit about you. But you cannot keep your name, my name, out of your mouth. You cannot fucking do it. And you want to say how boring. I'm so boring and not entertaining. You guys are sitting in the chat watching right now. I know you are. Hi. Thanks for the view. So keep being mad. Keep having to do these stupid juvenile fucking stunts. They're only making you look bad. Besides it being pathetic and immature, you're and and you're fucking helping Shani and Rev. Like it's really, really pathetic. Like it's really pathetic and cringy as fuck. I would be fucking embarrassed if I had to do shit like that. Just completely embarrassed. But that's all that some people can do. That's all they have. They can't do anything else but dumb fucking. And, and I wouldn't even call it trolling. You think that that's trolling? You're being trolled by Shani and Rev, you fucking idiots. You don't get it? They'll say whatever. So that they get their fucking Chinese food and their Delta 8. Is that really, like, uh, that much of an accomplishment? That you're, Like, I thought trolling was supposed to, like, you know, you're supposed to, like, get one over on somebody. You're supposed to actually, like, do something with it. Trolling is not just giving someone money to talk shit about someone else. So, <laughs> trolling is not what you're doing. But, hey, you guys, go ahead. Keep giving Shani your money. I'll keep being over here, doing what I'm doing. Not having to beg for money online like Shani and Rev. Uh, and not having to do stupid stunts to get people to watch my content. So, enjoy that. I'm glad that I live rent-free in your fucking heads every day of the year. All you're doing is showing everybody that. And proving it. So, cool. Super duper cool. Um, let's see. We're going to watch the rest of this because I'm curious how this is going to end. But then I wanted to pull up, and I'll do it after this. I've got something I want to play, but I'll remember. Um, so, let's get back into this really quick. And then um, I'm probably not going to be on for that much longer. Uh, I'm at least going to take a break and go and get something to eat and chill out or whatever for a little while. Um, and I may come back on. But um, anyway, I'll be on for a little bit longer, though. I'm not going anywhere yet. Big boom. No, okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Quit pulling. Quit pulling. Quit pulling. Stop. 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 You didn't make a report on my dress. You didn't make a yeah. report. She f***ed me. Okay. On some real shit, she f***ed me. I was trying to get just, out of there. Just give me one minute, okay? Let me get her. Okay. Walk over here. Walk. Okay. Stand up and walk. Okay. Help me. Ten minutes. Walk to the car. They said he was going to give me. Walk to the car, Yesenia. I never got in trouble. Help. Oh, my God. You guys are fucking pathetic. Now you're all rolling in here? Wow, dude. If I'm so boring, what the fuck are you doing with your life? If I'm so boring, what the fuck are you doing with your life that you're here? Clearly pressed as fuck. Dying for some kind of attention. Wow. Help! 10,000! I promise, Ellen! Stand up and walk to the car! Ellen! Thompson, please! I never told it was a setup! I never told! Uh, I never down, told! Okay. Sir! Calm down. Mister, I cut your hair. I never told you. You took that video on your phone, remember they said? 10,000! 
I didn't believe it. We were all in the bar. I was just fixing to go deliver some drinks and she walked in the door. As soon as she walked in the door, she tripped over my chair. She went to yelling and screaming and cussing at me. She went screaming and cussing at everybody else. Went ape shit crazy. Jumped she was over jumping all over the tables, tables. Yeah. all over the fencing. A bike broke out of a course because they were trying to help her and she went swinging and hit on her. Okay, who did she hit? Hey, well. Oh, the attitude? She the, hit her finger, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I would go get it checked like a doggy. Is she there. bleeding? Yes, yeah, she oh, is. She's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she bleeding. She's she fine. Stop. They caught the sheriff. Stay still. They caught the sheriff. Stand up! Put your hand behind your back, you Put your hand behind your back right now! Put, stop oh turning, you Stop turning! Face it. Jesus, that's so fucking loud. Hold on. Busting my eardrums out. Let me turn it down a little bit. Car! They hurt the liars! I'll hold it for you. Get the car. Let go of the cup. Oh, bye, boo! Thanks for coming and hanging out with us for a little while. Um, we'll see you next time. Hope you have a good rest of your day. She won't sit in my car. Okay. Ten million! Jake, is your car? <laughs> Please! Even Shane's brother win. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? It's uh, Corporal Preciado. I don't want to charges. No? What's your, well, what's your name? Uh, Liana. Well, how do you spell that? L-E-A-N-A. What's your last name? And thank you guys. Like, everybody in the chat, I see everything you're saying and everything. Um, and I really appreciate it. Like, I've, I've said it a million times before. Um, you know, I really, like, I can't tell you guys how much... Um, you know, this, like doing this and, um, hanging out with you guys. Cause that's what I feel like I do. Like I, I get it. Like I'm a reaction channel. I'm not here making content and like, you know, claiming to be whatever. Like I literally just like watching shit with you guys and giving commentary to it. I, strictly just a reaction channel, but, um, I really, really do enjoy it. And, you guys are always so supportive and kind, and it really means a lot to me. I feel like I don't maybe um, express that enough or in a strong enough way to for you guys to understand just how much it does mean to me. It really does mean a lot. So thank you. Thank you for being here, and thank you for being awesome. Get some gin for your hand. I got some Germix. I mean, she bit the out of me. Can I hit her? No. Can I beat the out of her? No. I'm just playing. I already did. But uh, when I was hitting her, she hit, she like beat me. I was trying to save the girl. She came in here right away trying to talk about, I need some water. Trying to save the girl. Trying to give her some water. Then she beat me. Thank you, 86 like, cent. She bit you where, I'm sorry? Right here. Oh, okay. And I said, I need my finger. The f you mean? And she started biting me. And so like, I tried to save the girl. And I was like, you know what? But I'm trying to play some What? Are they actually doing that? Jesus Christ, you guys, like, uh, is there going to be any low that you won't go, go to, or are you just going to keep going further and further and further and further down? Like, so desperate for attention that you have to watch my chat to read people talk about you. Okay. The girl looks like she's going through enough. To be yeah. honest, I'm trying to press my charges. Uh, I just came to stay my side. Let's stop, okay? Shane's brother Let's win. stop. Let's stop, okay? But Shane's brother Stop. Win. Let's face the car. Let's, Let's face the car. car. They lost the I'll apple. talk to you if you face the car, okay? They lost the apple. Stop what? falling down. Cool. It's a center. Hey. Okay. You want to sit her down? Listen, it's her car. Come here. No! Sit. Sit oh, down. God. Help. Sit down, bitch. Yesenia, you're making this worse. They went to sit down. They um, went to two motels. Sit down. I will talk to you if you sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You don't get to negotiate this. Oh my god, you guys.
that's just sad. They are they can't even break a hundred views. Can't even break a hundred. Wow. Last time you guys didn't let me. At least let me die over there. Don't hurt me though. Stop. Hold on. Eight, seven, seven, five, seven, five, seven, two, eight, seven, eight, 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 eight,
Howling cheeks. Oh, yeah, that is actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I need to take lessons from them, though. <laughs> okay. Help! It's cringy as fuck. That's what it is. I can't even imagine. Exactly, Paul. It doesn't. And, and people don't respect that at all. And, uh, the, like, acting like that and shit, like, it, I don't, I don't get what they try to do there. My camera off. Like, the whole, I'm too cool for everybody act, like, okay. Help! He covered you! Help! Uh -oh. <clears throat> I pee in here. No, don't pee again. Did she just say she's gonna pee in there? No. 86 it. That's the thing. I think about that all the time because trust me. I have, uh, um, you know, had some pretty, like, uh, wild nights when I was younger in my partying days, and, oh my god, I'm just really thankful that, like, body cams and stuff like that were not really a thing yet, and, uh, because I'm telling you, I would probably be in some of these videos, for sure. I'll be I don't know where she came from. Yeah, she lives down the street. Oh, okay. She lives down the street down the street. She said something about someone stole the baby, and then she was saying something about someone, like, when we gave her water, she said it's vodka, y'all are lying, and then she said yeah. someone gave her fentanyl, and I don't know. Did you guys want to trespass her? I think they did it with her. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Talk to me. Yeah. yeah. All, All right. right. Okay. Y'all got I it. I said Mr. Me. Neil Wiggins is the actual owner of it. The female started saying some questionable things on their way to the jail. Uh-oh. This must be what Marquis was talking about. I think she's about to start talking some craziness here. Hey, we got a tab. No one can find you. Where I can. I'll tell you where you went. I promise. If you just give me water. That's a recorded thing. I'll tell you where you went. It's not the blue eyed guy. I promise you. I know his birthday is DNA. It's his DNA and everything. Please! I hear you! We got the shumper. So I'm down! Alright, I'm, I'm having trouble making out what she's saying. Like, is it just gibberish? They need to take her ass to the hospital and they need to sedate this woman until she comes down from whatever this high is that she's on. 
because this it's got to be something like drugs i don't think that um i mean she cannot stop moving she's bouncing around all in the back seat talking gibberish not knowing what's going on i mean she could just have like a mental illness but i tend to think drugs were probably involved here doesn't mean she doesn't have a mental illness too I told you. might be a mixture of a few <laughs> exactly, Omni. They couldn't even get that right. That's special. This is me. She's mine. Hey, you got the wrong cup. The beast there. They didn't know where to go. They live in pain. They live in pain. Don't feel me. Senya, calm down. Calm down. I got it. That's how far to go. How far is the freaking police station from where they were? Good lord. It seems like she's been in the car for a long time. I'm gonna go sleep Come on. Far. And you're gonna drive her far. The seatbelt ain't even on. Please. All right, I'm fast I'm forwarding through a little bit of it yeah. because it's kind of boring with just seeing her sitting in the car being crazy. So we're gonna fast forward through that a little bit. You can see it. They were tightening it. They just think it's a brace. Remember? Thompson, he said, and I love you about Thompson, because Thompson's a big... Um, this is from Police Insider, and I'll grab the link for you guys. There you go. I just dropped the link in the chat for you. They're recording all of them. What's up, gamer fam? Ah, it's a red light like Eric. Yeah, I can prove that when I'm here. Because he did it to me! The black hat! The blue light! Remember? Help! Girl, the just be still! The Help! The sea was not plastic! Thank God, they're finally at the jail. What's up, Hadfield McCoy? How are you doing? Exactly, bro guy. That's what I'm thinking too. Like, how is she not worn out? But that's obviously why she was like, you know, having such a hard time breathing and shit like that when they first got there and she was all winded because she's probably been doing that for God knows how long. Stop and listen to me. You went to that school with me. Yeah. Stop and listen to me. Yeah. Stop and listen to me. Okay, don't, don't tell me. Are you done? I'm doing pretty good, Hatfield McCoy. I can't okay, complain. Are you in any way? Yeah. Hope you are as well. Have you been in a car wreck or anything like that? No, I'm telling you. Like what? My Rabbit all bad. I think it's that my mods are just on top of their game, and that's why it, you know, they got, they took it care of it really quick. So that just speaks to them that they do their job right. By the way, thank you, mods. You guys did great. I 
I like her shoes. They didn't really match what she was wearing, but I like them. Aw. Thank you, Kix. I agree. They are awesome. I'll give it to you. I lost my protection. Ah! But he cut my blood circulation off. I hurt me. What's the deal? No, and you won't be hurt. You're tiny! You're trying to give me a heart attack. I used to take nursing school. Rhonda was my nurse. She did my gymnastics. It, well, it's going to kind of sound cheesy, um, but it's one of those things where um, <sighs> my mind went blank. It'll come back to me. Hold on. Give me a chance. I'll show you with my You won't be able to do this. I gotta do the safety and fire box. Okay, now do it. I went to bar training at where? My friend, my friend Derek seen us. You oh, I know what I was going to say. The cheesy thing is that you can't build yourself up by breaking other people down. Do you know what I mean? Like, if, you're, if your focus is that you think you're going to get ahead or get somewhere in life by trying to shut shit down or, or like, uh, I don't know, cancel, that kind of bullshit. Like, if your focus is all on that and you're not focused at all on, you know, doing something better for yourself it's never gonna go anywhere it, like it's it's there that's just it doesn't work like and there's not happiness in that anyway like um it even it you know even if it's um if you get something out of it it's fleeting you know what i mean like you're you're just much better you know trying to focus inward than trying to focus um on you know outward and breaking other people down and shit you should see my mom and my yes, daughter. Hey, you can't do that work. They said you would do everything. They captured it on the laptop, on the gaming computer. I was gonna be testing it. I was putting my. I used to do drugs. Oh, this is what it is. They got you an iron one! Okay. I take a... Stop nurse. messing with the cuff. Hey, but I take a nerve pill. Stop messing with the cuff. Hey, listen. They got you on things. Unless you want to have to go on again like that, okay. put it out. Oh, well, bro guy, like I get where you're, you guys are coming from with that too. Being too aggressive with the bands will make give them an excuse to cry persecution. Guess what? They're going to do that anyway. They're going to do that anyway. They already do that. They've always done that. They say that all the fucking time. Um, so trust me, you can't win with them, whether <laughs> whether you're, you're, you know, blocking people a lot. I'm, like, it's just, it's, it really doesn't um, appear to change a whole lot, unfortunately. Male was charged with battery upon a peace officer, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. You. Okay, that one's over. Let's see. What have we got here? Let me see. Have we seen this one? I'm Julian. I don't think we saw this one, right? Is this new? Let's see. Four days ago. And this is real body cams. Let me copy the link real quick. Boop. It's Jillian. Okay. I'd like to figure out what's I'm going so on. I'm so mad right now. I'm not giving. Oh, is it your daddy? No, he didn't. Try no, to you guys got it all. I'm not doing this. Okay, well, calm. calm you're you guys are police, but he knows he cut my hair off. On June 4th, 2023, officers in Ohio received a call about a woman attacking an elderly resident in an apartment building. Upon arriving at the apartment building, an officer began looking for the woman when he noticed an older man in a wheelchair nearby on the road. The officer then spotted a woman who matched the description run from the apartment building before jumping inside a parked vehicle's window. We're trying to leave and his dad. What? He's like enabled. He lives right going on. 
Wait, okay. what? I'm pissed. Well, we got a call about a female beating a guy in a wheelchair. Oh my god. Well, babe. I didn't call nobody. Nobody beat nobody. I'm just telling you that's no. the call. And then I Are see you f***ing and serious? jumping through jumping through a no, car I'm window. Dead. So so help me try to hey, figure out what's going on. No, we're just arguing. His dad. I don't know why you might said that. We have not seen him in like literally six months. <clears throat> okay. This f***ing Dad wife. down here. This okay. is why. Okay. Just to tell him. I just did. His dad is ex everything. Okay. What? What's your I'm first name, ma'am? Just so I'm, I know I'm, I'm talking. What's your, what's your name, sir? Yeah. My God, Dancing lady. Pizza. I'm super pissed. Calm down. And this is all over his dad? Seems a little bit Dancing, much. you are who? Take me to jail if you want. I like, I'm Jillian. I'd like to, I'd, it's Jillian. Okay. I'd like to figure out what's I'm going so on. I'm so mad right now. I have not given this guy the time of day for almost a year. Okay. And the reason I kicked him out of my mouth is because of the Jancy is it not. Yeah. Tell him the truth. What do you want to tell him? Oh, uh, the reason we kicked him out of our house is because of this bullshit be Sam and John? Yeah. So, what is your dad doing? Nothing. Oh, he's not doing nothing? He didn't do anything. Who yeah. made the call? I have no idea. Did I hit your he dad? He did not make a call. Did I hit your dad? Here's a little word of advice. If you're, you know, dealing with the cops and there's been an incident <laughs> like what it sounds like occurred, you know, the last thing that you want to do when the cops get there is start yelling, getting in other people's faces, being like so hyped up. Like it's just making it clear who the aggressor is. You know what I mean? Like clearly uh, she's the one that's flying off the handle. So she's probably going to be the problem. Dad. He did not call the cops. Did I hit your no, father? No, you didn't. I guess you, I, I promise you when she you go. She did not hit them. Okay. She did not hit it. I'm so I'm mad right now. I'm just saying that's what was reported to us. And go, go ahead and check your dad right now. I don't know who called. Oh, is it your daddy? No, he didn't. Go ahead and go scroll down there to your father. No, I didn't say he called. Guess he what? Call. When your dad says he called her on me. He didn't. Okay. He did not he said, call. Look Jason? at your father. Will you step over here and speak with me for a second? <clears throat> Wow, Jansen, that's awesome. What do you want me to do? Tell him uh, uh, Hey, I want to speak with him because he's he's calming you. down, okay? I'm not You're yelling, you. and I can't get anything Man, out of you. I want to speak with him. I can't tell him no. Oh my God, lady. You're pr exactly what I just said. You're keeping it going like it's just going to get worse and worse and you're going to be in handcuffs in a second because you can't fucking shut up. What One you time do? to do with his dad and now this. So okay. yeah, I am upset. Just try to take some breaths and let me talk to him I for a second. I took care of this for 10 no, years. he just doesn't. 12, 14, 7, I understand, 7. babe, but why? I didn't do anything. Babe, but why is your dad over here he, like, babe, There's a bunch of... Babe. Saw what, me? Affirmative. He said, yeah. somebody Look, said that they Jillian, were, go talk to go talk to that officer right there. I don't care. All right, James, walk over here, I'm man. Sorry. Yes. Let's step up here out of the roadway just because people don't pay attention. What's 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 going on today? Like I, I told you what we got dispatched to. And we went and had a few drinks at the stable. And okay. then we came back. And now she's acting ridiculous. I, Bad. Okay. Bad. I don't have anything to do with any of this. Honestly. Who is she talking to now? She's somewhere hollering at somebody. I, I don't see anyone else. Okay, so you guys were here. I was gonna go home. He was over there. All right, so you guys were here visiting. Yes. We okay. Went to the stable, had a few drinks. All three of you did, or just yes, you and her? All of us okay. went to the stable and had a few drinks, and then, okay. and then we came Which is back. Totally and now, fine. Now they're they're. Is your cruiser Oh, good, Omni. I'm probably gonna be wrapping up soon anyway, so no worries, cause I'm getting hungry too. Yeah. She's mad. She's mad about. I don't know what. Honestly, I, I have no idea what she's mad about. It's okay. shit that I have nothing to do with. Shit that happened a long time ago. It's just just old shit. Okay. I have nothing to do with anything that's going on right now. And I and we're married, so Okay. I, I'm trying to just take her and go home. All right. Where you guys stay at? Where you guys live at? Alright, so so you, your wife, yeah. and your dad went to the stable, had some drinks, had some food, came back here and now her this, and him got into an argument? No, she just started getting pissed off about nothing. Okay. He didn't even do anything, honestly. Okay. So 
I, so she got mad and was taking it out this, on you and him, or just him? Pretty much just both on both. both. Okay. She so why would this. I? Why would our caller? I have no idea why somebody would say, say that they were, they, he was, she was attacking him because she wasn't. She was more on me than she was him. Right. I, I don't know why. Okay. Honestly. But she was probably was. Verbal, verbally yelling it's at him. It was more maybe. verbally at me. Than okay. It was her, him. I don't even know why anybody said that. Okay. Unless it was because he was close to me. I, I don't it, know. It, it could have been. Like I said, when I roll up and I see her dive through the, I know. the window of a car. She took my keys, so I can't even leave. Oh, okay. Is that your car? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was just going to go home. Take I, her home and go home. I got yeah, you. But she did my keys, so we can't leave now. She's usually not that bad. I don't... She just had a few too many. Yeah. Take her oh. home. I was just oh. trying to take her home. Yeah, no, Holy shit. Okay, why did they start... I have nothing wrong. She... <clears throat> oh my god. This woman is loud. Holy shit. Why am I locked in here? 12-14 now. B. <clears throat> She's gonna get herself in trouble, man. I know, but I can't stop her though. You know what you want me to No, there's I mean there's nothing you can do. I'm just <clears throat> Just hang out here. You're 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 being cooperative, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, as long as okay. I just don't want these people to have to hear her screaming and yelling, they don't deserve that. Hey, see, Sorry guys, I, yeah. didn't, I I didn't expect all this to happen. No, you're good. I was man. just trying to get my dad home so yeah. I could go home. He right. seems like he's had a couple drinks, but he's not like yeah, drunk drunk. Yeah, he's not that. He's not like that. Okay. And I had my keys, and I was about to leave, but she done took my keys. This is this is you. Uh, when I come where, do you, are, my, yeah, where do you live? Okay. Hey, Brian. You, you said you didn't get assaulted. You didn't get hit. Here's your ID, you, you Brian. Get, what? You, you never got. A, you didn't get assaulted, right? You didn't. Nobody. Nobody punched <laughs> you. She never did. Right. Is that right? Hi Shiloh, how are you doing today? Marco. That's, that's, that's what was reported. That's what was okay. reported what to us. So obviously hey, we got to figure That's why we're trying to figure that. She never hit him. And then she never right? we get calls all the time. Where, yeah. She never hit him. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't breathe. Look, hey. You guys, five, seven. Well, it's because you keep no. screaming. No, I can't breathe now because the air came on. This one, you came in the door. Okay, I've got the air on. I can't breathe at all. Jillian. <laughs> you did. Your air was off. <laughs> okay. Clear night, and dirty. I'm having an asthma attack. I can't. Do you want a medic? Hold on, hold on. Can you let me out Jillian, of here? What is your social, please? Look, can you let me out of here? You guys got my hair off back there. The air is on now. No, they just you opened need, it. Okay, but you need to try no, to No, you guys got back. it off. What is your social? Let this open up before I You guys. What is your social? That man cut, cut my f hair off. What? You hear me? I heard you. Dr. Nicole. He cut her hair off? Why didn't she say that when they got there? <laughs> Jillian, I'm trying to work with you. No, what is I know, but he cut my hair Okay. I've got the air on. I'm a severe asthmatic, but the whole time you're talking to him is my air was... Okay. Air was gone off. I know, but you need to try to calm yourself back down now. The air is guys, on. I'm here Yeah, you guys have this over... Is that what... Maybe she didn't say cut her hair off. Maybe she said, she said cut the air off. That might be what it was. According now that my okay. air is on, but he cut it off. Jillian, what's your social, please? <laughs> he cut my air off. That guy did. <laughs> Yeah. He cut my hair hey, off. Are you going, Bucky? Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I think after this, I'm going to be wrapping it up. So you're not going to miss too much. Hey, Take care, Bucky. Ryan. Ryan, he cut my hair off. Jillian, what's your social, please? Is that legal what's for your... you guys to cut my hair off? Jill, what's your... He's got the air conditioner on. No, but when you shut the door, I was kind of in here without it. And I have severe asthma. Well, the air conditioning's on. <laughs> no, it was when he opened it up. But when you shut me in, he was off. No. I'm not doing this. Okay, well, calm. calm you're you guys are pleased, but he knows he cut my hair off. What is your social, Jill? <laughs> I want to talk to a f***ing paramedic. You guys are crazy. You knew. Five seconds. You knew when you shut those f***ing windows that the I was an asthmatic. I was like, you're dying! Just take her to jail. Just take her to jail. Yeah, take me to jail! 
Sir, you put me in here. I couldn't breathe. Try your social. Last one. Last four. One more time. Sir, Jill. McKinney, I could not breathe. She needs to go to the gym. I was back here There's and could no not way. breathe, sir. She's aggravated disorderly. I'm There's not. No I'm back here and you could. I'm an asthmatic. There's no way getting out of her. There's no way we can just send her out. I'm here. an asthmatic and you put me in here. <laughs> okay. You're, are you breathing okay now? No, but the air's are The window's on. Yes, sir. So you needed the window down? Is that what you needed? Bro, to sir. scream and yell at people? No, I don't want you to. Sir, no. You seem, you seem, you seem no. to be breathing okay. Then you're able to scream and yell at Sir, no, I don't want you to yell at people. No, no sir, I don't. Me. You. You won't stop yelling at people. No, I, I you, thought you were asking. We want you to stop yelling Oh, I thought you were. I'm sorry. I can't hear with this air on now. Which I couldn't hear, on, which chill. wasn't before on me. <laughs> Is that what's happening? You're going to jail for disorder. Because I can't breathe. No. The officer returned to the patrol car to ask the suspect where she had put her husband's car keys. Uh-oh. Excuse me, sir. You, you have the car keys? I do not, sir. He, he said, your husband said you took them from me. The, the husband says you got Oh, the car okay. Well, what's on me? You have the car keys? Are they in your purse? And you can get a sober driver to come get you? Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, don't. Please leave, don't. Leave, please. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I can. Hang on. If, if I step, Can I step out? Yeah. You're going to have to, like, unstrap. I'm sorry, sir. Turn now. Wow. Okay, you're going to have to, like, unhook this again. She calmed down quite a bit. That was quick. It off me. But it will hook okay, right okay, there. Turn, yeah. Turn it's fine. It, it'll hook. Turn. turn oh. face, the face the car. Please. Why am I being arrested? I have no idea. I'm not involved. Babe, I they put me in the back of the truck and I couldn't breathe. Marijuana in here. Okay. Jill, sit back in the car, please. Freaking out. I can't help you. And I, can you also find my medical marijuana card in there? Jill, please sit back in the car. That's fine. Thank you. Thanks, babe. Thanks, Jason. You and your f God, thanks. I didn't do this, babe. I didn't. They put me in here and couldn't breathe. I tried to. It's her ID in there. Babe, uh, I couldn't see. breathe. Babe, I could not key, breathe. No. They locked me in here. I know. I've asked I, I, I did everything I could. <laughs> but honestly. they locked me in here. My what keys. What did you do with the key? Babe, what did you do with my key? I don't have this key. You ran off my key. You took it out of my key. ignition. That's why you're I don't see it. You took babe. it out of my ignition. I don't see an babe, ID. Just stop. Okay. Babe, just stop. You have it, babe. Babe. I'm going to jail already. Just can you give me my shit back? Just take her I did jail. nothing wrong. Like you guys yeah. like suffocated me. Uh, Not you Jansen. guys. Jansen. Yeah. Yep. Well, well listen, Shay, like Jill, I like that. I actually like that song. Um, who sings it with him? Jordan Sparks, I think is her name. You you, you didn't give me the last four of your Sir, social. Sir, can you, you like said, I need the last four of your social. I need you to five, like seven, five, seven, five, 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 Get these handcuffs off to like us. Okay, status. we're going. Tell me your social. Hi, Twilight Rainbow. Hi, Twilight. If you don't identify yourself, then you're going to no, sit in there in jail. Like that, sir. You have my keys right there. I can see yeah. that is key in the bra. Where? Right there. Oh, guys, is that what you're doing? I thought that when I saw that, I was like psychosomatic. That It always makes me think of that song. What the fuck is... uh? Prodigy, that's the name of um, the group that does that song, right? Breathe, I think is the name of the song. Breathe. Down your bra. I can see it. Give it to me, please. Can I have my keys? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, because you're sober, right? You're going to drive home, No, right? I'm going to call No, somebody. he's going to get a driver. You and your daddy? No, I didn't do any of this. Okay. All right. Oh in route of jail, one female break. Oh, my God. Jesus! Yeah. Oh god, she's screaming That's again. Bullshit. Clear nineteen twenty native CC. Sir. Sir Can you please look at Claire, I don't have her information. Go ahead. Jesus! Whoa. Last name Clack. Why is it? First name on me? Jillian. Julia J U L I A on the first Jillian. name. If you would stop yelling, she could hear me. Uh -oh. uh oh, the cops are getting pissed. He's losing his cool on her. First name Jillian. Julia J U L I A on the first name. If you would stop yelling, she could hear me. Jillian. Yeah, bro guy. I love that. So I like Prodigy. Um, and the. Uh, music video for that song 
is badass too. Dark, but but really good. I like it. Of course, it's not going to top uh, Smack My Bitch Up, but it's up there. It's a good one. J-I-L-L-I-A-N. Clack. C-L-A-C-K is the last name. Change my pick. Smack my bitch up. The officer transported the suspect to jail. Okay, what did they charge her with? The suspect was charged with aggravated disorderly conduct. During court, the suspect's bond was set at $325. The suspect pleaded no contest in court and was found guilty of aggravated disorderly conduct. The suspect was given a fine of $50. Ew. Oh, hurls. Threatment, not okay. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't say what I thought it said. Um, all right, guys, I am gonna wrap it up for now. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you guys had a good time. Um, I will be, uh, you know, Rev said he may come back on. Um, if he does, I will pop back on and bring that to you. Um, otherwise, I was going to see, I might come back on later tonight and do a, a different kind of stream. Um, I don't know. Some of you may not be into it and like that kind of thing. But if you're into like, how, what do you guys think about like uh, doing, it's not not necessarily true crime stuff, but th stuff in regards to like Hollywood, like, um, you know, uh, old Hollywood, like um, tragedies and, and stuff like that like i think that could be um a cool thing to go over and to watch um there's the channel in la uh-oh uh-oh can you hear me it bumped me off for a second hopefully you guys can hear me um uh, so I thought maybe that would be fun to, um, do something like that and kind of go over some crazy stories. Like, uh, what is the one, um, I think her name is Peg something. I'm not going to be able to think of it right now. Um, the, but she's the one, the actress that jumped off of the, um, the Hollywood sign, the H of the Hollywood sign. She committed suicide and um, jumped off of there. She was an actress. Um, so di just different like stories like that. Yeah, River Phoenix would be a good one. Um, so if you guys would be uh, down for that, then maybe we'll make that happen tonight. Um, either way, like I said, if Rev comes on, I will um, jump back on and bring you guys that. And otherwise, like, uh, you know, maybe we'll come back on. If you don't see me tonight, though, you'll definitely see me tomorrow. Um, and let's see, it's Sunday, right? So there's not a whole lot going on tonight. Um, so, yeah, um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm forgetting something. But I can't think of it. Um, all right, guys. Well, that is going to do it then. Let me pull up a song to play on the way out. Um, thanks again for hanging out today. You guys are awesome. And I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and I'm, I'm just glad I don't have to pull stupid stunts and shit to, to get these and shit. I, I'm like, I feel like you guys genuinely want to spend time with me. And it's not just about... Um, dumb bullshit drama stuff like that so i appreciate that thank you for that and um i will see you guys next time i love you guys have a good afternoon bye say what say what say what say what say what say what my dick's bigger than yours oh say what say what say what say what See what? My band's bigger than yours. Too bad I got your beans in my bag. Stop a sucker, corny motherfucker. Taking all the foes of the Olympic. Need a biscuit to save the crew from John Davis. I'm gonna drop a little East High skill. You better step back, cause I'm a kill. I'm a kill. So what you thinking, Mr. Raggedy Man? Doing all you can to look like Raggedy Ann. I'll check you out. 
punk Yes, I know you feel it You look like one of those dancers from Hanson Video You little faggot hoe Please give me some shit to work with Cause right now it's all kids suck Suck my dick, kid Like your daddy did What? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Me? I'm known for eating little what whiny chumps like you. Whatever. All up in my face with that all you ready? But with the house, are you ready? Are you ready? steady. You little fairy smelling all your flowers. Nappy hairy chest. Look at Austin Powers. Oh, I hear yeah, you tweeting baby. on them fag pipes. But you said best there's no place to hide. What the fuck you saying? Your pimp would never limp dick. Fred Durst needs to rehearse, needs to rehearse what he's saying. Wanna be fuck joke is what you're playing. Ripping up bands, counterfeit faking. Plus your bills, I'm paying. You can't eat that shit every day, Fred. Say Lay what, off the say bacon. what? You better watch your fucking mouth, Jason. So you hate me? I hate you! You know what, you know what, it's, it's all, all in, the, in family. the family. I hate you! And you hate me! You know what, you know what, it's, it's all, all in the family. Look at you, fool, I'm gonna fuck you up twice. Throwing rhymes at me like, oh shit, vanilla ice. You better run. Run while you can. You'll never fuck me up, lick biscuit. At least I got a fat one, original band. Who's hot? Who not? You better step back. Calling on the cop. You need a real job. Time to take all my skills back to the dentist and buy yourself a new grill. Fuck you. you pump the pie, I'll jack off in your eye. Climbing shoots and ladders while your ego shadows. But you can't get away. Cause get it's doomsday, game? kid. It's doomsday. And you hate me! You know what? You know what? It's all it's in, so the in the family. I hate you! And you hate I'm me! You know what? You know what? It's all in, in the family. family. You call yourself a Cena? You yep. more like a huge screener. Your oh, favorite cool. band is Wiener. And all your little Zenas. You like a fruity pebble? Your favorite band is Rebel. It's just yeah. too bad you're a fag out on a lower level. So you're from Jacksonville, kicking it like Buffalo Bill. Get butt fucked by your Uncle Chuck while your sister's on her knees waiting for a little peanut. Where do you get that little dance? Like a little Over Eastern Wicko. You're burning in the bako where the father had your mother. Your mother had your brother. It's just too bad. Your father's mad that your mother's now your lover. Come on, hillbilly. Can your horse do a fucking wheelie? You love it down south and boy, and you sure do got a pretty mouth. And I hate you. Are you hate me? You know what? You know what? It's, it's all, all in, in the family. family. I hate you. Are you hate me? You know what? You know what? It's, it's all, all in the family. And I love you. And I want you. And I'll suck you. And I'll That's suck really you. No, I'm not saying that shit. And I'll eat you! I'll lick your little dick, motherfucker. Say what? Say, say, say what? 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 what?